hello. Daniel Lira. How are you, Kiro? How are you? I'm good. Good, good. Having a good day. What about you? Good. Uh, having a good day, too. Um, we're going to follow our um, punch out kind of reinterpretation week, month. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Year, yeah. It could be. 2023, Perfect. the year of uh, punch out. The year of uh, chili. Reverse sniffing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grasping for air. So um, this morning I uh, started the drawing of uh, Soda Popinski. Mm-hmm which I never knew, but had, um, it had another name. Which was? Something like Vodka Drunkensky or something like that. In like another country? Was it like a translation? I think, or I like think an that's the name. To... I think that's the name that they wanted to use. And then they it were like, no, nah, this is, yeah, yeah, this is a little weird. Well, you know, it, it could be that because if, I, I think that those ESRB rules um, still apply that it can't be a kid's game if you mention alcohol. Yeah. So you don't even have to show alcohol, even though Soda Popinski actually drinks from a soda. But, I mean, because of the name, you could think it's yeah. a soda. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's a soda, it, so it's fine. If he's fine. drinking, like, Coke, whatever, you know, it's fine. But, um, yeah, but if it was... Um, if there was anything that could lead you to believe that he was just downing vodka while he was boxing, uh, it would have been horrible influence. Horrible. So, um, yeah, some, it, it was something like that. Let me, let me see if um, I'll Google it. Uh, soda Papinski. Okay. Yeah, vodka Drunkensky. Drunkensky. Mm -hmm. Well, so, but I guess it makes a lot of sense that that's not the name of a mm -hmm. character for a kid's game. I mean, oh, like, so I want to grow up and be drunk. vodka, be a drunk, drunk Kensky or be whatever. a drunk it's fighter. Like, yeah, no. Um, uh, yeah, apparently, despite removing, this is uh, Punch Out Wiki, so despite removing the alcoholic reference from his original identity, from the arcade uh, game Super Punch Out, some of his quotes some of his quotes still suggest that he drinks alcohol rather than soda. <laughs> so that's awesome. That is super cool. He has um, the uh, drunken master. I think that's the style. That's the uh, martial arts uh, style. Drunken master, is it? I have no idea what you're saying. So. Yeah, I th so Drunken Master, I think it's a... Don't ask me which type of um, of martial arts. But um, maybe it doesn't even exist. I maybe it's never just heard like, uh, that. No? So I, I don't think... I've only seen like a couple of fighters. There's like a couple of videos of fighters uh, doing like a pseudo drunken style. So the idea behind it is that you move so erratically and randomly that the other fighter can't understand what you're about to do. But is it just the name? Because I guess that it can't be a condition that you're drunk. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to go in drunk and fight. That's a sure loss, for you know. But you're supposed to act to move as if you were drunk. So, so the other fighter, your opponent, your opponent wouldn't really know what you're about to do because your body is not really giving him any clues as to what you're supposed, you know, how you're supposed to defend or okay. attack. Yeah, but I don't even know if that's a real style. So I don't know if that's Nathan, like a kung fu style. Like, Nathan like a, Parrott, so Nate. Yeah, 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 Nate. Who's saying, Drunken Master is an older Jackie Chan kung fu movie. One of his best. Yeah, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if the, like the drunken, quote unquote, drunken master style or drunken style precedes it. Profu D. Desen was saying it's from a Jackie Chan movie. Not sure it actually exists. Oh, okay. So, so the origin, the actual origin for that is a Jackie Chan movie? I guess. That's amazing. That would be amazing. So I don't know if that was, that was this older like Kung Fu or something. Uh, but, um, but if it isn't, that's awesome. That's, that's really, really cool. 
but I've seen like um, fighters, there is like, um, I've seen a video of a boxer that is really amazing. So I guess after that, people started doing Maybe. it because they thought it was fun. But Maybe. yeah, I, I was Googling and it says drunken kung fu doesn't really exist. Uh -huh. Moves using lurching movements and falling have been incorporated into Shaolin Kung Fu, for instance, although it's not in the sty style in its own right. Okay. And does not actually involve alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, so, yeah, yeah. And it says, but the drunken Kung Fu, or, or Kung Fu, uh -huh. uh, in Drunken Master, was in fact invented by Chen and Yuan. That's amazing. That's a, I mean, he was, he's incredible. So, no, that's amazing. That's really cool. Yeah, because it can't be a style because you can't train it, right? Yeah, how? You wouldn't be able to that's train something thinking, that's like, so erratic. You have to be so random. How do you train being so exactly. random? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it, it would be like an entirely subjective thing. But you figure that maybe that was something that was um, that could be viable, but there's no fighters that do that. Like, no like professional fighters that have been like champions, like, and in like essence, renowned champions. Yeah, in essence, it would be untrainable. Right, right. If you train, you're like unlearning. Yeah, I guess if you then want to mess around, there's, there's a ton of fighters that are like cocky and they just drop their hands and start doing like these weird like head movements. And, and, and there's fighters that have like incredible defense. So it's, it's almost like impossible to touch them. They, they, they're just like, you know, fa it's fascinating how fast and how, you know, effortless, effortlessly almost like they move. But, um, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, uh, but so you're doing, so I'm drunk right oh, now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a drunken style drawing, no. uh, right now. No. So that was, um, so the, uh, drunk fighter from the, uh, punch out series is uh soda Papinski. So a hard soda. Uh, hard lemonade. Uh, uh, but right now we're doing uh, Von Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Von Kaiser. Mm -hmm. so, so you started uh, as you always do while I was... Oh, yeah, I was scribbling while you were yeah, setting up. setting up everything and you yes. started... Yes. Um, I'm having, like, trouble with, these, with this series and I think that it was just something that happened. Like, because this is this is not a job, so I don't have to do, like character design or anything like you know viz dev any any sort of like viz dev so that sort of stuff doesn't matter to me i don't i don't really care about any of that so the 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 issue i'm having though because i'm being just you know very capricious with all of this is that i started like the first fighter that i did and granted he was hunching over so if if he was like if if I had to deal with him like straightening up, I would have had to deal with like um, a whole new set of proportions, let's say. But because his um his you know shoulders were turned you know kind of outside, he was showing us the upper plane of his shoulders. Um, then the, like his abdomen sort of caved in, and then the the legs of of that first fighter were actually bent at the knee and going backwards. Mm -hmm. Uh the his right one the left one our left was going way back and the um his left our right wasn't quite bent that much at all but it was still bent at the knee so you know when when the foot is actually when the knee is um it's more forward than the foot let's say when it's like you know when when the leg does this and then it goes back and then there's your foot but the knee is there like this distance is shorter Th that distance is is a lot shorter, so so it was it was cool because I would I could do like a big head. I mean it was it was like a disproportionate head, but it was a big head, big ass shoulders. Again, you know the the masses that were coming forward, and then I went smaller, smaller, and then scrawny legs, and I, I could actually fit th the uh, distortion because they were also going back in space. You know after um, the break at the at at the knee, so. It was fine. I was thinking like, oh yeah, I can fit like a cool boxer, like a cool proportion boxer here in this space. But then I did King Hippo. After that one, I was like, okay, I want to have fun with this. I'm going to do King Hippo. But King Hippo is enormous. So 
I started thinking like, okay, if that's the proportion of the fighter, like it has to fit. Uh, let me turn this off. Um, if that's the proportion of the fighter and it has to fit, then King Hippo didn't look like King Hippo. He didn't look wide enough. So I was like, oh, this is not cool. I have to, like, the one thing that I want to do with King Hippo is making really wide, mm -hmm. like this barrel chested, you know, fighter. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. Like, they don't have to be like this series in, in the sense that they like don't have to be. Same composition. Right, exactly. Same pose. Of, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I think I would bore myself. Knowing myself, I would be very bored if I just kept it like the same thing. And I guess it would also take a little bit of the magic out of each character. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, as you were saying, imagine you have to, like, follow that first composition for King Hippo. Right. Makes you think about the people that design these things. Yeah, they're amazing. They're incredible because they have, like, let's say, in, in Punch-Out, they have a number of pixels that, that you know, oh, in, they in have terms of height. Oh, they have things they have to. And they have to fit. Yeah, Like, they have it. to give it a certain personality. So, you know, you, ha you, you can change, like, skin tone and you can change the local color of the... Uh, the trunks or you can change you know you can change a bunch a bunch of things but you still have to they still have to remain in a box they have to have like a hit box mm -hmm. and it can't be like a, a, a super different hit box from like other characters mm -hmm. so it's not as if you know one can be super th narrow and the other one is like really really wide because that would make like uh you know kind of super weird game to play mm -hmm. so you know, but I'm not beholden to any of those things. So I was like, oh, fuck it. Like, I'll do whatever I want. So I made King Hippo super wide. And then I was like, I can't wait to do Tyson. And I was like, I should do Tyson right now. I was, why am I waiting like till the end to try to do Tyson? So I was like, I'm going to try to do him right now. But it's Tyson. He's the end. He's the, he's the last fighter. So I was like, he's got to be the biggest one. So if I already went like with... Who was supposed to be um, Glass Joe? And then I went King Hippo. And I was like, oh, I have to go wider and like almost feel like stronger than King Hippo. So I did Tyson, you know, kind of bleeding off the page. Yeah. And, um, and I was like, yes, I don't have to show like his uh, gloves. I don't have to show his legs, even though he, he's got like massive, massive thighs. But I don't have to show any of that. I just want to show just the broadness of it. Like, you know, Tyson is just like a wall. So I was like, perfect. That's perfect. But then with the other fighters, I was like, oh, now what Now what do I do? Mm -hmm. Like, do I show the legs? Do I not show the legs? Like, is it important to be somewhat, you know, kind of consistent with this? And I've noticed that it doesn't matter. Like, initially, like I had like a little sketchbook, you know, somewhere where I did like, um, I was going to do Don Flamenco. Um, no, no, it's like a, the tiny one, but don't worry. It's, it's okay. I was, I was doing the sketches on the little sketchbook. And with Don Flamenco, again, I wanted to do these like scrawny little legs, um, a la, you know, the first fighter that I, I painted. But then I saw it and I was like, this is going to look almost exactly like the first painting I did. Mm -hmm. So it became also like a, a game to see okay, I shouldn't really crop it here. Like, I shouldn't just say, you know, I have to fit the legs and, and see how to, you know, deal with the proportions of the body. Um, and I started thinking, well, I can do anything I want. So let's crop it like right under the knee, mm -hmm. which is like ugh, very risky place to crop it. But that's what I did. And I was like, I don't care. I want him wide at, up top and then these like little twigs kind of coming down and and you sort of have to imagine because that's kind of I guess that's kind of what I want for you to imagine like the the rest of the body and the rest of the gesture, but only based from you know based off of like a part, mm -hmm. which is really cool. I think that that's um, that's a thing that painting can do or can afford. Let's say that um, visdev people can't when when you get when when they ask you to design a character. You can't just be like, yeah, this is, you know, this is part of the character. You imagine the rest. It's like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. You have to imagine everything. You have to spell yeah, everything out. You have to think about it. everything. Like, not only what they're wearing, but how they carry themselves. Like, what's, what's their gesture? And, you know, again, it, it just goes to show me, for example, that 
people that do those sort of things, oh my God, they're just crazy good. I mean, the art world is such a specific, you, you know, like um, business that the people that are really good at something, it's only when you try to do like, I mean, I'm not even trying to do anything that would come even close to what they do. But when you try to go through a, a tiny bit of, of the motions that they have to go through, you, it's only then that you realize, oh, no, these are geniuses. Mm -hmm. Like these people are just incredible, like character designers. They're amazing. I mean, they they and and they are such good draftspeople. Like it is crazy. I've noticed now looking at at all the artists that um that worked from um that worked in across the Spider Verse that they've been posting a lot of their work, which is really nice because I don't know why studios wait so long. That sometimes people have to wait for like years until they clear their artwork and so that they can share it to other people. Mm -hmm. So it's super sad. So kudos to Sony Animation that they were like, no, movie came out you like a it, week yeah. later. Everyone was showing their work. And that same week, the book was available. Mm. The the book of the um, art of the movie mm -hmm. uh, that we bought yeah. it was available. So it's amazing. I mean, that's how it should be done in, in all honesty. These movies take so long to um, to make that, of course, they can you know make a book while the movie is in production I and mean, i think it's, it's even wiser yes like if you want to hit while the iron's hot yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah but it's crazy because with other like pixar movies sometimes people are like a year and a half later it's like hey i can finally like disney finally cleared and you know, i can, this, show, and I can you, show you yeah. like these like color scripts that i did for the movie and it's like what that it's so absurd um, at, at people that you know put their lives into uh, all these movies and they can't even talk about it, they can't even share. It's crazy. It's and I crazy. Mean, yes, it makes sense that you can't share it before the movie. But as right, you were right, saying, right, 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 right. I mean, it's like a week has passed by. What yeah, are you like gatekeeping still? Yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, so I'm happy with this, mm -hmm. but I'm going through the thing that we artists never want to go through, which is like, I wish that this was right over here. So you're going to move it? <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to redraw it. Okay. Because I wish this was Do you fucking want to Photoshop. No, no, no. We're, we'll just, well, the thing is, you know, I'm drawing lightly, but you can't really quite erase color pencil on, <laughs> on the moleskin paper. But it's totally fine. I like that ton of the gestures that I had here, but, uh, I know myself. It, well, there's two things happening. I'm noticing that I want this shoulder to be enormous. I want this to feel huge. Mm -hmm. Thing is, if this feels huge, then the biceps is going to have to feel like there's no point in making enormous shoulders. And then you just go and make tiny little. Well, you can. You can do anything you want. But, but you know, just doing like a tiny little biceps just coming out of that shoulder, like underneath that shoulder, uh, would be, would be absurd. Like you, you lose all that mass. So, so yeah, so your biceps and your triceps here have to be like, you know, they have to grow from that, you know, huge shoulder. So if that's really big, then the arm has to also, you know, kind of say that it comes from like this really big place and feel really big. And, but I was noticing that I'm getting way too close to this bit of the uh, to this edge of the paper here, and I don't know if this is too short. Like my if my forearm was too short for the broadness of the shoulder. So even though I'm loving the width, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm sacrificing the bit of the arm just to be able to maintain the width. But I think I think I want to maintain the width. So, you know, these are, these are some of the things that if you're somebody like me that loves kind of like disproportion, sometimes, you know, because there's no way to balance a disproportion, you have to almost like sacrifice certain aspects of, of the figure, like, especially if you're like, um, dealing with, uh, with, um, sort of reconfiguring the proportions of the figure. Um, and especially if you want to fit it into a. You know, it's not a bespoke kind of uh, uh, proportion, like like ratio um, in, in your substrate, but it is like a 
a ratio that you're maintaining with with the other paintings. So, so yeah, so I have those two things that I want to move it because I think it's ridiculous for me to have started. I mean, I was so engrossed in making the 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 torso that wide that I didn't realize that the bigger gesture of the figure had to be from, you know, big, big ass kind of masses right here on the right and then yeah. sort of cascading towards the left. So let's move it. Move it. Yeah. yeah I want to move it. Move, move it. it. Well, you don't want to. I don't want to move you it, move it. Move I want it. Photoshop to exist on a piece of paper. <laughs> Jeff Aikov was saying, that was an awesome explanation of the compromise in this proportion. Gracias, Nico. No, no, no. It's it's totally cool. Yeah, I, I often um have to uh, think about... Yeah, sure, sure. I often have to think about those things while I'm drawing because... Uh, there's no books on how to disproportion things like there's no real like way to learn how to do it or learn how what things to do or what things not to do it's really based solely on what you're tr what you are trying to do like w the things that you are trying to push and it's almost like the things that you are trying to push create very specific very particular problems to your own work so in many ways it's like it's it's almost this thing that is telling you, no, I'm sorry. There's there's no like um, um, sort of pre-written knowledge about these things. You just have to pay attention, you know. Which is honestly probably the best thing that you can do in all of like art, which is just pay attention to what you're doing. Like pay attention to the needs that are being created by your decision making. And then you know one of the most interesting things of trying to solve something. Uh, visually is to see the ways in which you try to you know solve those issues while you're working it's it's pretty amazing so we're going to have a lot of pentimenti here so there's going to be a lot of lines that are kind of busy but i'm going to find my way through them i i usually i'm not usually distracted by other mark making that i do i actually like it because it's a reminder that i have to shift everything about that much so if you see the width that I moved, the width that I have here is the same width that I have here. Like that length is the same as that length. So it's actually a lot of people are, are you know, many times bothered by by mistakes and and by, let's say, or, or let's say previous attempts to solve something at solving something. And the truth is they, they can be like really, really insightful if you let them, if you don't view them as mistakes. So... We should say hi. We should, we should, we should. So, Carlos Taylor. Dice, Carlos. Hola, chicos. Hola, Hola Carlos. Carlos. ¿Qué tal? Prince Burbones was saying hi, everyone. Hey, Prince Burbones. How's the weather today? Oh, is it better? How's the heat? Yeah. Um, let's hope that uh, Cody was able to fix the AC. No, his torn AC, his torn ACL. That's where my mind went. I'm so into like sports mode because I'm watching like, uh, you know, preseason, Liverpool preseason. So when I heard AC. No, my... but it was but when I said fan. No, th th then I, no, but I that no was the thing. Were... No, my brain was like, it, I, I can't. I mean, he didn't tear his ACL, uh, Luchito, but uh, because that's like a horrible injury. Um but you know his knee injury was terrible so which... now i get why you reacted yeah. like that yesterday. so you can have like a like a broken ac or a, or a torn acl uh those are all like yeah, joint... cody's a broken ac i know my and my like, brain oh god and i was no. like yeah do you have a fan my brain wasn't oh, like sports I get it, mode I get it. my brain was like oh my god what did you do you know uh so yeah, I don't know. My brain was there. Don't don't ask me. The only explanation that I have is that I've been really surprised. Like today, I was watching uh, Lucho Diaz play. Mm -hmm. He's he's insane. Like it's crazy. I mean, they... I mean, medicine has advanced to a degree that is crazy, and especially sports medicine. I mean, these are probably some of the best doctors that you could ever hope for in terms of like you know um, uh, joint problems and yeah. and um, and muscle you know. Uh, if you have a tear on your muscle or your joints. Or yeah, but it's still tendons. crazy. 
you know, those are the best doctors that money can pay, really. But it's still crazy that they can go back to... He he is running like and sports, crashing into other people. Because it's not like, oh, I, I broke my knee yeah, and I have to just Yeah, it's not like me. And it's like, I have to get in the shower. Yeah. And that's it. That's uh, my steps for today. Five. Mm -hmm. You know? No, these are people that, like, opponents want to, like, break you. They are fine if they break your ankle. They're fine if they break your knee. And then he, they even try harder. Yeah. When Although I'm they saying know. fine. And I saw uh, Marcelo. You remember Marcelo, of the uh, Brazilian? Yeah. Oh, my God. You should see how he broke without wanting to. He broke this uh, player from Lanús, I think. I know. His leg. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that was so... It was horrendous. Like, horrendous. Oh, I know. Yeah, he felt horrible. Immediately, he of felt horrible. Of course, because like, he horrible. can ruin... Oh, their career. career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this this dude, I'm sure, won't play for... You know, if he, if he is able to play, <laughs> it probably... This? I think... Well, I've been seeing it all day today so maybe it happened yesterday or, or i or, haven't seen that or maybe it, it was something that happened like a, a while ago but um and i just saw it um so where so where? cody with his torn acl i hope he can walk again katherine Paremski was saying hi everyone hey katherine how's your day carla and glada Oh, so Carlita. Carlesita. Carlesita. Who's saying yay. Carlesita Asada. Yay. Hi, Danny, Nicolas, sweet Chilean chat. Hey, and Carla was saying hi, Carlos, Prince Bourbons, and Catherine. Hey, Carla, how are you? Carla was saying uh, a great intuition, perhaps. When we were talking about the drunken masters. Okay. That you can train in having, I guess, a great Oh, intuition. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. See, or maybe she said that regarding disproportion, or maybe no, it was no, no, because it oh, was okay. in the conversation. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that not just like trying to guess, but because of when the comment was. Okay, meant. So, so you're not intuing it. I'm not. Nate, Nate Parrot was saying drunken style drawing and a laughing emoji. Oh yeah, I would be useless at that. No, I think you could draw, but you would be yelling right now. Because you tend to... <laughs> I'm super annoying. Yeah. No, you tend to talk, like, so loud Yeah. when you're drunk. Which is... Which I don't no, know. I by the way, it funny. doesn't happen often. No, but it's funny. I mean, it's funny to a point. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's so funny. So very annoying. No, 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 it is funny. But sometimes I can be here, and you're like, Hey, Daddy! No, 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 but you're acting like... It's like, hey, I yeah. I would be drunk, like... You know, seven in the morning. Of course not. But Where's my orange juice? No, but you're like, like you can be here. This is your volume. Yeah. And when you're drunk, your volume just like explodes. So everyone's conversation can be here. Yeah. And your volume is louder. Get very excited. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I find it cute. Sometimes you scream a little loud. Not scream, but you talk a little too loud. A little loud. I, I, I just... Think Let's get funny. loud. <laughs> you get loud, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, but it doesn't happen often, no. by the way. And it's not like you're loud and loud and mean or loud and rude. No, no. I'm I'm so I'm, good I'm more that. of I'm like I'm the same me but, you know, L turn louder. to 11. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With a speaker. I used to be my drunken part my drunken self used to be um i think i was funny but i think i was funny also like hurtful funny i could be like mm, yeah i would have no limits funny i wouldn't like that no you would never I you would have never liked me as soon as yeah I yeah, drunk, yeah yes and i yes think we wouldn't be together yeah yeah so so i i've learned that 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 part that version of drunken me had to go i think it had to go because i knew some friends that when they were drunk they were mean yeah and they just thought that the next day it would be okay just because they were drunk yeah. so it was like having a free pass for saying whatever ugly thing you wanted to say i'm not saying that was your case because 
when I met you, that was not the way you were. No, but, but the I, amount but of times that those, I had to apologize in my life. But I life, do remember oof. those friends and I was always like, you know, it's not okay. It's not like, hey, but I was drunk. Like, no. Yeah. I mean, you, you still said horrible things, so. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was, uh, hate to say it, but that was me. That was, and you, you tend to think that, hey, it's funny. And maybe it was funny, but it was not like. No, but sometimes it was funny, funny at the to... expense of other people. But or... sometimes it's funny for people around, but not for the person that you're making yeah, you can make fun, fun of. of yeah. Which is, I don't and, know. I just don't find that. And you could be making okay. fun of like your best friends, which don't, which won't really hold a grudge against you. No, but it was but like uncomfortable. Line. Yeah, it was. And I guess that when you know you're crossing a line, you know. Yeah. So you're just like deciding to cross that line. Yeah. So. I would just have no filter. That's the worst thing that can happen to me because you know me. My brain goes really quickly to tons of places. And a lot of times it could be like a really funny place and it could be great. And you just, you know, spit out this comment and it's like, oh, yeah. But a lot of times it goes to a dark, funny place. And that's when, you know, I have to be like, yeah, maybe, you know what? I'll put this, I'll put a pin on this one. I'll save it for tonight. And then we're in bed. And I, I, I now tell you like, okay, I know this is wrong. I know it, but I'm going to die. Cause this is, that's the thing, Danny. Like if I don't say those things, they are going to fester. Like I have to get them out. And you know, if you're saying it to but me, I'm it's always like, like Danny, it to a wall. This is I'm, a this I is would a safe never place. like celebrate those things. No, no, so no. I'm always you like, usually are like that is not funny. And I go like I know, I yeah. know, <laughs> I know. Like it's not like we're celebrating it. It's not like you're laughing and we're like, yeah, we're evil people. You know, when nobody's watching. No, no, no. You're like, okay, that wasn't funny. But I have to say it. I just have yeah. to get it out of me. I feel it's interesting because I feel that. It's like people can be wired very different. Yeah. Because I don't have in, that in me. Like I've never had that in me. No. The thing that you say that I have no filter. Oh. I just feel that no. if you can tell me I'm going to take your filter out. You, you're the same. I, would, I wouldn't know what I would say. No, you're the same. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's like the part of my brain that was no. damaged with the TV comedies. I know. Well, that's why you can't laugh. It doesn't have that filter. No, No, it filter? does have that filter, like solidifying like an in me. Like an oil filter. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. You're totally right. But I, I think that that's part of the reason why, you know we're together because i also i was never happy with that part of me you know it's just that people celebrate like if you're surrounded by a ton of drunk, and people, drunk people yeah that's what i was gonna say it's like I, no boundaries it's I like do remember, yeah anything goes and do, here our culture it's like anything goes yeah and, and i i know that that's why i was saying that i had tons of friends that had comments like that and they thought it was okay maybe because in the other end of what they were saying, there was one or two people laughing. But for me, it wasn't okay. It's not, again, it's not like you have a free pass for that. And and I do remember, I think it happened just once when we were together, that you made like a joke, but it was like a dumb joke. I don't know yes. where we were. Uh, no, I do know where I we remember, were. But yeah. yeah. I think I remember the, and I, the tone and I of the joke. I remember you looked at me. And yeah. you're like, wow, what's happening? And I was like, no, that's not funny. Yeah. And that's the thing with me. Sometimes people are like, oh, no, you're killing the vibe. Buzz kill. And, and I remember that people around were like, no, it's fine. We know it's a joke. And I was like, well, I know. And you were like, this is not what I think. This is just like a dumb thing I'm saying. And I was like, yeah, but why are you saying it if you don't believe it? This is not okay. Yeah, yeah. And I remember that that night I was like, N I'm not having fun i mean and it's not like you were saying something about me or it wasn't no, something no, 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 terrible no. no 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 and i remember that then we had a conversation and you were like you know what you're right i don't even believe that but i thought that that would make people laugh so i just said it you know the uh the martyr uh comedian but that was great that i mean i thought it was great that we met a point where, because I was, I 
don't ever want to try to be like, don't say that, don't. No, because no, I never no, no. do that. No, no, no. It's like, just that if you want my reaction about that, you will get my real reaction. You will get my real reaction. No, but like my honest reaction, I'm not going to like fake a laugh because I feel that that's what people are doing like around me with the joke. It's yeah, just and if I, I, I have to say, you've never, like, we'll talk about it later, but you've never like pulled me to the side or said like or given me like a face no that is like you don't say this like you're always like you're the idiot that's saying it go ahead if you want to say it yeah. like you're the one who has to deal with like whatever you're gonna say that day what happened was that you asked me like no don't do that face it was like a joke because you realized i wasn't laughing yeah you weren't having it and i was like no not, not having, having it. it at all yeah <laughs> Uh, so how did we get here? I don't know. I'm drunk, what were we so talking I'm about? <laughs> uh, not the best person oh, to ask. Oh, drunk and loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, let's see. Jeff Akoff mm -hmm. was saying, Hola, Nico, Dani, Chile, desde Scotland. Dani, oh. I sent you some photos from sunrise this morning to your Instagram. Oh, oh we got to see it. these. Yeah. Yes. How was the plain air? How was it? Oh, we gotta we gotta find a name for uh, um, the first light plane air. What do we call that? There's gotta be like a cool name for that. Hey. We could maintain the Frenchness of the uh, plein air ring. Oof, that's so beautiful. Let me see. I want to see. Wait. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, because I'm just like seeing all the images. <gasps> Jeff. I would 100% get early in the morning. Oh, look at that. To that see looks, that. Let me see. That looks like a... I mean, you could do it like this. Like so. a church painting. Doesn't it look like a Oh, like and that's Jeff's daughter. The oh the church painting yeah 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 that light Look at is that. just that is like uh godly yeah that is um uh, yeah 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 I would a hundred percent get some of the first hills super ever made early in the God. morning just to go there God was like yeah I think it's cool this is cool uh very nice yeah that's very beautiful and it looks like you had a great day like the weather oh yeah nice great. open skies yeah beautiful. No, but look, there is more. Oh, okay. So this one? Yeah, that one, I'm guessing, is like... Daughter. No, because he said. So Jeff said, my daughter, Kate... No, 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 I was going to say, like, uh, I mean, it, these moments of light last nothing. So oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing this is, like, probably 10, 15 so minutes later. So this is a friend of Jeff that went oh, also look at called that. David. How quick, how quick were you guys painting? Because it says... Okay. Um, no, I don't know, but it's... Okay. Lani, sunrise this morning at 5.20 a.m., on the Isle of Skye, Scotland. The picture that we said that it looked like a church. Yeah. Not like a Not church. Not like a but church. Like where you a go to church pray. painting. Yeah, like a like a look. So this. Yeah, beautiful. Look at those hills. This. Nice. Very nice. This. You know, I hate that I, I have to say it's that so can be without the hills. I mean you you would have to go to like um you know, a little up higher in the mountains here and go outside the city. But the sky feels very familiar to our sky. Yeah. The shapes of the clouds, the yeah. colors, very, very familiar, which doesn't happen. Like when I was in Menorca, completely different sky. Yeah. When I'm in it's, Rome, different sky. And, yeah. And I have to say in Menorca, it's like an infinite sky. I don't yeah. know how to Yeah, yeah. The blue it, is but it's flat. Like, but it, and it's like completely... I know. This, this time that I was there, I was... I was just blown away how flat it felt. Yeah. Like um, uh, your movie, what's it called? The the um, the Truman Show. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It almost felt like okay, we're in a dome. Yeah. Like we, well, just we like are changing sort of, the. I mean, it's sort of a dome. Yeah. But this feels like a like physical, a controlled. Yeah. Dome. yeah. It yeah. feels like a, like Chicken Little. Like there's gonna be a tile <laughs> that falls on my head. Yeah. Look. So this one it says that there are some sheep 
here okay for the sunrise see but that i feel that we could get some of that in a nice kind of not open that open day. because of the mountains but i get what you're right. saying about like the it's shapes just, of the yeah, it's just the yeah. green the, sh the color of the green yeah and this one it says david with his french easel arriving on the cliff edge just before the sun came over the horizon look at that very nice so very cool. uh friedrich 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 Yeah. No, I don't know. I, that was Casper terrible. David Friedrich. Casper. And now I'm like very uh, Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. Arnold. Casper <laughs> David Friedrich. Arnold. 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 Mm. So for how long were you there? I thought you, you... Did you ask that? Yeah. Well, how quick were they painting? Because light in those moments... I, was, I, I remember in Menorca we were painting sunsets. And... Uh, Oh yeah, um, it changes like crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like chasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's absurd. But um, uh, the best thing you can do is paint small, very very small, so you can actually go one and then another one, and another one. Look, Jeff was saying yes. I've seen a similar sky when I was last up on Montserrat. No way! Look at that. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, he's well, we a traveler here. of the world. So. No, but remember that Jeff was here a couple of months. Yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So, so. And I mean, if Jeff. It's not like something that we think it looks similar, but Jeff yeah. that was here and there yeah, can yeah, confirm. Yeah. It's strangely, you know... Strangely similar. I, yeah, I guess, I mean, it makes sense, right? You know, depending on your, like, geolocation in the world, like, if, and, and depending on the uh, months of the year, uh, what sort of season you're in, and if there's a season there, skies are, they're like, they're like fingerprints. They don't... You know, they never look similar to no. any other place on Earth. I, I, I still remember, like, um, when I... I, th I think I've told this before, but when I went to uh, Madrid and I had... Not the first time, but when I went there, one of the times when I had Antonio Lopez in my mind, mm -hmm. I remember I, I was there during a summer and... Uh, or during, like, probably a couple of weeks in the summer, but I looked up, uh, up at the sky and I was like... Holy shit, like that's an the Antonio sky Lopez painting. That was painted, like yeah. it just didn't look like anything else. It looked like an Antonio Lopez painting. And it bowled me over. I was yeah. like, of course, like this kind of hazy like Madrid in the summer has like a hazy sort of yellowy light mm -hmm. that it's not the blue, the light not even close to the blue that we have here. It's just like this yellowy, bluey, kind of foggy color mm -hmm. that sort of inundates everything and i've always seen it in in like lopez's paintings and when i looked up i was like oh my god like this is crazy yeah. i mean it speaks about how like crazy good antonio lopez is that he can through a painting teach you about you know the place that you're gonna inhabit you know in the future yeah and you're gonna find like familiarity with it yeah. but it was it was insane i i I realized how magical that is. Like Yeah, and I think the last time, last year when we were in Menorca, we were talking about how our blue skies are never no. as bright blue as that. Oh, yeah, it, it just felt like... It can could, be like a... Touch it. It's yeah, but so it's strange. like a bright blue, but a different one. Like oh, yeah, a very different, different one. Yeah, completely. And I also remember when we were visiting your brother in Texas... That there was one day that it was supposed to like rain or something that we went to. I forget. Like Hobby Lobby, something like that. Okay, just, yeah. But there was like a very big uh, parking lot. Yeah. I don't know if you remember no, the I'm shape remembering. of the clouds. Oh, maybe. It was like a very weird shape. Yeah, we, we, know, we don't have that. Like, your brother, like, oh my God, what is this? We've never seen that. Yeah. And he was like, that's how the sky looks here. Like, Once a month here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's we just... were like taking photos and yeah. And he was like, no, yeah, it's cool. But like that happens a lot here. And right. I think that's what you're saying. I mean, that never happens here. It's amazing. Our planet is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Prince Burbones was saying, it is a very weird feeling to see a familiar sky in a place far away from where you're from. Yeah. Yes. Very strange. yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeff Akov was saying, we both happened to be painting 8 by 16 and took about two hours. Oof. It was windy AF, however, <laughs> but worth it. 
Oh, I imagine. Yeah, there's no, there's no man mountains to stop the uh, breeze. So, mm, so Carla was saying, "Sounds beautiful, Jeff." And, and looks Jeff beautiful. Was saying, "I feel." No wait. So Jeff was saying, "Carla, it is a really beautiful place. Have wanted to visit for maybe twenty years, and it's fun to be here with my daughter. Both discovering it." Now, that that's is so super nice. cool. And Carla was saying, oh, no, because Prince Verbal. <laughs> oh, okay. Was saying it is a very weird feeling. Yeah, yeah we yeah. read that. And Carla, yeah. regarding that, was saying, I feel this weirdness too, Prince Verbones. Um, Cody. Cody How's your was saying, ACL? Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you, Cody? Are what's, you the, uh, what's the inside temp? What are we way? talking about? Sweating your, ¿cómo se dice? Balls off. No. What? No? <laughs> no. I'm on. sorry. Like sweating your way out of Elden Ring. I was going to say. Like okay. Sweating your way through Elden yeah. Ring. Well, okay. Yeah, that was a little more in tame. In Spanish, in my brain, that sounded like a good saying. But then you said sweating the balls. So, no. Not sweating the balls. <laughs> uh, I am see. sweating the balls. <laughs> mm, where are we so i'm gonna go back to when we were saying hi please yeah peter smeekins yeah was saying i have to go to sleep just as you go live looking forward to watch the video later though and peter was also saying i was re-watching a lot of your older videos and i'm extremely grateful for not only the wealth of knowledge but also the pure joy of painting they display Ay, that's Thank so you. Nice. That's very nice. Have a good night of sleep. Uh, Shiobanu Bogdan was saying, your anatomy is beyond good. Do you still do studies or is it all learn and get enough practice just through application? Um, No, I still have to. Like, that's what we were doing before the... Um before the uh, workshop in Rome, I was doing like a bunch of drawings um, and uh, it really does help. I mean, all of uh, like, all uh, pertaining the figure and pertaining anything, I guess, any like specific subject matter. Um, you know, if you take, you, you could be painting anything and you, you're still gonna have like a great idea of painting. But if you're going to do something specific, if you train that for a couple of weeks before you do it, or maybe a month before you do it, that just gives you like an extra little kind of like reminder of the nature of the uh, subject matter that you're going to be working. So no, I, I have to, and I like it. I was doing those, I was doing some paintings and I did, I did a bunch of um, quick kind of, well, quick-ish drawings. I was trying to draw it with like a parallel pen just to try to be bolder, a little bit bolder, so that I didn't, you know, the, the one thing that you don't want to be when you're doing like workshops is just feel like very stiff, like you're very, very stiff because you're not, you're kind of like unsure as to what to do. Even though if you're working from life, honestly, uh, you just observe, you know, it's like the, 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 the wonder, the wonderful thing about, um, a drawing painting from life is that your subject matter is in front of you. So even if you kind of feel unfamiliar with it, or at that moment you feel like, like you haven't mm, taken time, um, you know, getting acquainted or reacquainted with your subject matter, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, you, you already know how to draw, you know how to paint. So all it, all you have to do is is kind of fill those gaps with observation, with really really keen observation, and it's amazing. So, and and we had to deal with not because of of bad models, not at all, but our models. You know, we were very conscious of the movement that the model goes through, like the natural movement, because some poses, even if they are they feel very relaxed, they are you know, stressful. They're, they always strain your body. And models are always going to find ways to try to um, minimize that strain. Um, so 
little sh th there's always going to be little shifts in the body if we were like a small group we wouldn't notice it if we're like five people working for the model it doesn't really you know affect a lot of people because we're all going to be like in a very close kind of um range but if you're spread out and there's like you know 10 12 people um you're going to see changes in the in the body and changes in the pose like more evidently and we had to deal with that which is like the nature of any living you know being or thing or phenomena that you want to paint so it was very nice just just saying like okay practice my anatomy but it really does nothing when you're working with somebody who's alive and who breathes and moves and shifts and is trying you know like their body's trying to understand the pose i think that beyond like knowing oh yeah that's a shoulder that's a bicep like, like that's an upper abdomen uh, beyond knowing all these things, you also have to deal with life. And I think that that's probably the bigger lesson there that, um, that you know, you, you, you can kind of feel your way through the sort of tempo, the, the sort of rhythm of understanding how to paint and how to draw from life, um, how to go for things. Sometimes you'll see like, oh, the hand is in like this perfect position that I want to, to paint it. Let me go for it. And and you have, you know, 10, 15 minutes to just go for it. Um, so you have to recognize those those instances. It's very beautiful. It's very, very tough. It's always, always tough. Catherine Peremsky was saying, I worked for an artist in production, making her art, basically. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't share or talk about any of it. It yeah. was so frustrating. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah it's very... I don't think it's even like an ego thing to just say like, hey, I did this, but it's a matter of like socializing. Like it's you like, want hey, to. Hey, what are you doing? No, something. Yeah, I like, can't tell. I can't, I can't say. say anything about it. Or it's... maybe you're like super excited about like a progress in that thing that you're doing. Yeah, but you, you can't, can't share. No, you can't show it to that anyone. That happiness or frustration or whatever you're feeling with anyone. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. Catherine was saying hello. Hey, Catherine. Mm, Nicolas was saying, do you believe the quote, good artist copy, great artist steal? No. I mean, that's a Picasso quote, but that's kind of dumb. I, do you believe in it? Do you, no, what do you I think? Don't. No, I no. don't. No. No. I, I just, I mean, he was just trying to be smart. I think it's yeah. one of those kind of like you know, things that sound smart. But um, no. Who did who did uh, Caravaggio steal from? Like, nobody. I mean, I, I don't, like, maybe some, maybe he was sensitive to Titians. Maybe if you want to go back to, like, Masaccio or something like that. But not really. I mean, but then every, he was looking at Raphael for sure. Every single person that paints would be copying yeah. or stealing or whatever that's because but that was Picasso I mean, that was copying he was making versions of Manet paintings he was making versions of Velasquez paintings and I think that the saying is more to say no 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 I'm not copying I am stealing because I'm a great artist and the, the thing that I don't like about that is like the gap the separation it creates because it's like thinking that you are like in a higher level of other artists so they are copying when they're doing the same thing you're doing but because you feel you're a great artist you're stealing that's I, like a part that i don't like it's like i okay, don't know i don't yeah. know like I, who's here to say i think like if he was if he was just trying to say to acknowledge that there are no there's that we no artist is born in a vacuum no artist works within a vacuum Yes, of course, that's obviously true. That's like that's obviously true. Like every single, well, not every single painter. Like there's, obvious there, there there are a number of artists that live in the periphery or sometimes live outside the art world, the sort of, you know, conscious art world that are able to do things that do feel like they are their own. But even for them, like even Henry Darger, for example, he was looking at illustrations of the time he was actually and he would copy he would trace illustrations of the time so 
um and um james castle would also use like stuff in in um in in uh cardboard boxes mm -hmm. or in cereal boxes or in salt or in you know in he was he was using again a lot of like product illustration as a way to like start things so it, it like even it, it those like even at the purest let's call you know um um uh these sort of artists like darger or or these examples of artists like darger or castle let's think of them as the purest type of creation which is like a creation that is not conscious of the art world so i don't know what could be purer than that mm -hmm. even them they are being you know selective about what they choose to you know at least visually kind of learn from with the things that are surrounding them so there there's always like a place that they start from and and even if they they don't have like a conscious idea idea of how to contextualize that place it is still very much so a place um but but for everyone else that has been like you know let's say educated in the like heavy quotes educated in the art world you're always going to know about these that like the artists that came before you and for people you know way back in you know 400 500 years ago um it was it was also like a matter of showing how educated the were they were when if they would say well i'm basing this composition like for example caravaggio would in in some of his prior like um you know some chapel work it's like i'm basing this figure or the lower part of this figure in some of Raphael's um, uh, drawings. And it would just be a way of acknowledging how relevant Raphael was and how he had the knowledge to understand how important he was. But he also understood that Raphael came from like a, you know, more classical, a more classical, you know, place. So he was also acknowledging Roman history, Greek history, like Hellenistic history. So there's, there's you know, it, it was a way of saying like, I know my place. I know my place. I know where I come from. Um, so if if the quote was more about that, yeah, of course. Of course it's true. Of course. Like there's there's things that link every single artist to 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 like their history. There's images that link, you know, um um Im that link uh, uh the history of one sort of, you know, um civilization to, you know, uh, um a civilization that came a thousand years later and it's a, it's incredible to f to find those moments where everything just connects you know organically and beautifully it's be it's it's beautiful that's one of the most amazing things in art when you sort of uncover these um these links between um us throughout history regardless of where we were geographically but picasso i don't know i don't know if that was his way of saying like hey i can look at african like aboriginal art and I can make it my own. Like I could be literally looking at these um, masks, but I'm going to do something different with them. And I'm going to copy them, but not it's not real copy. It's just, you know, it's, it is, I'm going to imprint them with something that is going to make them my own. And it was the same thing, like same thing when he copied um, uh, Manet or when he copied Velázquez. Like he just wanted to to push things. But yeah, but I think just making everything into like this, very you know twitter old old school twitter quote it's kind of dumb i i think that that's it but picasso was like that that's the same thing like oh it took me i don't know what, what was it like it took me whatever years to um to paint like rafael and it's taking me my whole life to paint like a child or something like that it's, it's no, just... and, and as you're saying i mean if it was a way of saying hey like the difference between like copying and making something your own is giving it your own touch like the dis the difference between a good artist and a great artist is to know the intention of why you're taking a reference in something then i agree with that but i think that just the saying alone can be like misused yeah a lot so yeah those aphorisms were i think in vogue you know in in like late late 19th century for sure um just people thought that they if they could condense their knowledge in like this tiny little phrase it was going to sound ama my, amazing my, my dad used to try to 
make those. Yeah, there's, and I think and that I, happened I a, a lot that, that people wanted to like have a quote that people would look in the internet, and it's like Nicolas Uribe, 2023. Yeah, no, and like this like pocket size quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my god, like the a, knowledge of the world in this like one sentence. Yeah, it's like I don't know, I don't know. Mm, Siobanu Bogdan was saying, "Good artist practice." Great artist, practice a lot. LOL. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and Siobhanu was also saying, how much do you plan shadows in the sketching phase usually? Um, I have a notion of the direction of um, of light and shadow, but I'm not, I, I, I'm not super, super concerned because I am going to paint on top of this. So. And you're going to do an underpainting? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. So I probably, yeah, what, what Danny's saying is probably... Um, in like she what she's hinting at is that usually in the underpainting like you can concentrate more on like values solely mm -hmm. so values in terms of like the design of light and dark uh, uh, like abstract light and dark shapes or the design of of how light flows so yeah i i i think right now my bigger concern is about you know kind of like fundamental design of like shapes so that that is You know that doesn't quite rely on um, on light and dark. For example, it was bothering me that this figure was about I don't know in inches. What what is that? Like a quarter of an inches. inch, maybe. Yeah, Let's say I have no idea either. Half an inch. <laughs> Let's call it half an inch. I mean, I know there is. Let's a lot call of it half an inch. Uh, this would be how how much is it? Do you try to visualize these little squares of your notebook? They were, you know, that those no, were. No, you know, I do it with my hands. I don't know why. You know I that have the like squares a... of a notebook are are uh, half a half a centimeter, fifty mil. Uh... No, I I just know that this is a centimeter. Yeah, but if you think about it, those are two squares of a quadriculado. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I think it. No, I just I have this measurement in my head. Okay. So I'm just like. So I do this, then I do two, then I do three, then I do four. Do you know how much your cuarta is? No. No? That one's super uh, helpful, Useful? I feel. No. You can see me in like a department store doing yeah. this. Or like... Yeah. Or sometimes you're like, wait, I'll measure it. And oh, you just I, I like stick that. your arm out and, and then that. you try yeah. to stay still. <laughs> I always and then, do yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, Danny, you're not going to be able to hold that. Yeah, I'm like, it's my arm with my pinky. Yeah. And my ear. No. <laughs> um, Kakarax dice, hi, algún tipo de consejo para acertar mejor con el color? Bob. Bueno, acertar de con no. las mezclas está pensando como de eh, no, no creo que haya trucos. O no, sea, no, no, un truco no, pues. Pero yo, yo tendría un truco. Mm -hmm. yo, y no es un truco, no, pero mándate, pues mándate. es eh, conocer bien la paleta de uno, como que yo creo que esas, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Son es como una tablas de color. Sí, sí, sí. Como esas tablas de color ayudan. Como de mezcla. Ajá, de mezclas de color ayudan un montón. Como de pronto si uno está perdido y uno dice, bueno, esta es mi paleta, pero dijo, pucha, ¿y cómo llego a esto? Si uno hizo ese ejercicio previo como de empezar a conocer su paleta, siento que eso a uno le da como un lineamiento. No es un truco de nuevo, sino que es como algo de pronto que le ayuda a uno a saber por qué lado tiene que irse. Mm cuando quiere hacer una mezcla de color y siente que no sabe cómo llegar a esa mezcla de color. Sí, de pronto, eh, eh, ampliando lo que dice Dani, sí, yo, yo diría que es mejor no pensar como que uno puede tener un montón... ¿Se ve la paleta? No, tú la... Tú no, la... no hay paleta. Ah, bueno. Pero no, pues, ¿cómo es imaginemos la paleta. O sea, en vez de tener muchísimas opciones de color y decir, bueno, tengo que tratar de acercarme a cualquiera que sea el color del de, sujeto de lo que estoy observando, eh, es mucho mejor como tener muy poquitas opciones, por ah, ejemplo, sí, blanco, color, amarillo, azul y rojo, o 20, sea, un amarillo, un azul y sí, un rojo, sí. o, o blanco, amarillo, ocre, un, un rojo como con un acento de saturación y un negro, y tratar de acercarse lo que más se pueda. Entonces, en, en, en lugar de tener como muchas opciones y como pelearle a muchísimas opciones, tener muy poquitas opciones y dentro de las muy poquitas opciones tratar de, 
de encontrar eh, eh, si uno mediante la mezcla y el entendimiento de esas pocas variables puede acercarse. Y cuando uno tiene un entendimiento muy amplio de pocas variables, es como el mejor eh, entendimiento fundamental que uno puede tener para la pintura. Uh -huh. uh, Prince Burbones was saying, quote, I hope your new ACL makes you less hot, Cody. <laughs> Nicolás Uribe, 2023. I A mean, quote for the record books. I mean, I have to agree with that. <laughs> well, you said it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. New ACL is like a, <laughs> you can't go sexier than that, I feel. So before that, uh, Prince Bourbons was saying the temperature is currently 85 Fahrenheit. So not too bad. Not I too hope bad. Cody got, got his AC fixed also. I know that I never sleep well when it's too hot. Again, give Danny like a push pin and she'll get in there. A push pin? Yeah, you're the right size to just oh, get okay. in there and fix like, it. What are you talking about? I'm just bringing a joke from yesterday. Yeah. I was lost. A little bit lost. Um, you know what I want to watch? I want I want to watch... Because uh, you said lost. lost, and I remember that we watched all, like, Lost. Which was a shame. Not a, Again, not a bad show, but it, it just, you know, derailed very no, quickly. No, I think it's like a roller coaster, because I wouldn't say it's all bad i mean it, it was hurts. the writer's strike it hurts because it was so good yeah but then, then the, it was bad because of the writer's strike yeah yeah yeah. You told and me about that. the other the other one i but we would have to dark. watch just the first season dark. no 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 dark uh -huh. no we can see it all again uh, I, i don't know i wish i wish i i wish i could forget it and then see it again that would make me very happy but no uh heroes if, if we could watch like the first Uh, I want to rewatch like the first uh, season mm -hmm. again, which was like brilliant, mm -hmm. and see if it if it holds up, mm -hmm. which I think it will. We could, yeah. I have to see where they if 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 they uh, show it anywhere. Como puede estar a, como, mirando. Well, she's you know yeah, she's like a parenthesis right now, mm. like super curved. Um, Carla Anglada was saying, I live in an old adobe house. I don't have AC. Oh, that's so cool, Carla. Those houses are super cool. Yeah, yeah. Where's, uh, where's Carla? Uh, New Mexico? Oh, yeah, that, that would yeah. make sense. And also, no, isn't it, isn't it New Mexico? Yes. Well, for adobe, it would mean, yeah, 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 yeah. it would make more sense. No, and, It's and either I, that or, or it's a Photoshop house. <laughs> so yeah. uh with it's a terrible with joke Callum. she yeah. is yeah she's terrible with joke um no i was gonna say that i also i think i i've heard this from my dad he's an architect and we don't have adobe houses here but i've uh, heard that the well, walls here in bogota was oh bogota no but but i've heard that the walls yeah help to keep the house oh cool, cool. yeah Course. Cold, I was going to say. Yeah, that's the whole yeah. point in, in like super so hot weather. So it's like you don't need AC. I mean, I Maybe would need it. you would want to have uh, AC. I would want to. But it's not like you need it. No, I would Because I think to. in a regular construction in the U.S., you need it. I mean, like if, if I was like a Native crazy. American, I would have invented AC. You would have died. I would have invented it before I die so that other people... You wouldn't... No, you would have you know, died I would have invented it. You can't think. Or yeah. that would be me. Sweating I bull. I couldn't. That would have been my name. Sweating bull. Not sweating balls, Danny. No. What? Jeez, where, why does well, your that's... mind go there? <laughs> um, no, I was going to say that I don't know you, but I can't think when it's too hot. It's like I don't want to do anything. I, I can't. No, it's, no, that's just not wanted, just you. Yeah. It's, a, it's impossible. Mm, James was saying, Nicolás, you're legendary. What? Thanks for sharing your insights. Invaluable. Well, thank uh, you. That, that's too nice. kind. Yes. Mm. Prince Bourbons was asking Carla. Carla, does it get pretty hot or does the adobe structure help with some of the heat? Eh, Darian Gallardo. O sea. Darian Gallardo. Mm -hmm. Dice, hola a toda la familia OPL, Dani, Nico y Chili. Hola, Garian. Que cuenta Garian. 
Eliu Ha dice hola. Hola Eliu Ha. Bartolomé de Bosch. Uf. Who's saying hello everyone. Why do you always say that when I say hi to Bartolomé? Oh, it's always... Yeah. It, really? Yeah. Well, at least I'm consistent then. Yeah. Michael McEwen who's saying hi Nicholas and Danny. Hey Michael. Michael. How are you? Carla was saying, Prince Bourbons, the thick adobe walls keep the house cool. Yeah. Uh, Carla, how complicated is it to hang something in the walls? Like, if so you you're, put you're, a, what? No, 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 that you're curious about this. Of course. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Garian Dallardo. Dice Nico, aún no me creo lo de tu voz AI, madre mía. ¿Ah? Me siento un poco aterrado con eso. Yo, pues yo no he podido dormir. No. Y lo repite y lo repite. En sueño. Tú repites lo que dice ese audio sí. cada rato. Sí, hicimos, hicimos la prueba, pues no la prueba, pero pues sí, fue una prueba. estaba sonando y yo iba tratando de decir las cosas como las dice la persona. Pues o sea, vale. lo puedo decir exacto. Uh -huh. Exacto, o sea, la inflexión que le puedo dar a mis palabras es exactamente igual a la que usa esa persona. Y el tono de voz. Es y el tono el de voz, mismo... como el timbre de voz, es exacto. Sí. No, es muy curioso. Es muy, muy curioso porque yo, yo me ponía a pensar, bueno, pero yo puedo hablar como mi hermano, incluso como mi hermano. O sea, genéticamente somos hermanos. Yo no puedo hablar como mi hermano. O sea, seguramente porque crecimos en la misma casa no sé, construimos frases de alguna manera parecida. Pero es como lo que tú hablabas de mi hermana y yo. Sí. O sea, mi hermana y yo podemos hablar parecido en el contenido de lo que decimos, las palabras que usábamos todo, pero no podemos sonar igual a la otra. No, yo nunca te confundiría con tu hermana. No, en... o sea, no. la voz no nos suena igual, las palabras no las pronunciamos igual, la entonación de las palabras es distinta. Sí, pero En yo... este es como tu tono de voz es el mismo, tu ronco es el mismo es como que yo creo que si esa mismos, persona llamara a mi mamá o a mis hermanas ah no pues es tú eres tú le creen creen que soy yo por o eso sea, te digo no... que a veces tiene como un bailadito en algunas palabras distinto a como tú lo dices pero tú puedes hacer ese bailado también exacto yo yo puedo 100% hablar como sí. esa persona sí 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 uh, guy bailey who's saying painting with a brush in one hand and a drink in the other There I find go. my creativity flows like the wine, oh. with colors and emotions blending to create a masterpiece on the canvas of life, okay. or not. Okay, somebody's drunk. Yes. Yeah, somebody, yeah, is, somebody like, is a drunken master yeah. over there. Spilling uh, wine. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Finding the like carpet, shapes. The linen. Yeah, it's like finding drawing in the spilled, <laughs> you know, in the shapes of like spilled wine. Yeah. I imagine guy. Ba Being like, this is like the best painting I've done. Yeah. And next Wait till morning, the morning. like, what the? Yeah. What? It's yeah. a dirty carpet. Carla Anglada was saying, now I'm thinking of the show Drunk History. I'm not sure if people, if the people in the program are oh, really drunk or pretending. What is it? No, I remember. I, I mean, I vaguely drunk remember history? that. Let yeah. Look for that. Drunk History. It says American comedy series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an American educational comedy television series. What year was this? Mm, not so long. No. First episode was in 2013. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, it was popular at the time. It became like strangely niche popular. I love this description. Drunk history was both extremely accurate and deeply entertaining. Mm, no, I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Mm. Mauricio Paraguazú dice hola. Hola, Mauricio. ¿Cómo está Mauricio? Y mandó unos emojis de YouTube. Nunca sé cómo escribirlos. Mm. A ver. Ok. 
Catherine Peremsky was saying, Carla, I'm impressed by no AC. Where do you live? Even here in Michigan, we still need AC a few weeks in the summer. Carla was saying, I live in Taos, New Mexico. Yes, so I was right. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada, and oh. I remember always having AC on, and most people had a pool. Oh, yeah. Like In Vegas? Have... I mean, that's one of the hottest places on earth. You so. know, it's long time no see Jose. Jose yeah. fails. Yeah. Jose fails Wish again. him the best. Yes, always the best. And I hope they have a pool in Las Vegas. Well, yeah, I mean, that's... I hope. Cody was saying, inside temperature is 78 right now. Okay, we, we took it uh, 8 degrees. No, what was it? I don't know. It is 7 degrees lower than yesterday, so that's that's something, I guess. We opened all the windows last night and closed them early in, this, in the morning. Keeping the blinds down today, new motor for the AC won't be here till Monday. Oh, Jesus Christ. I made a big progress in Elden Ring, though. Just got to the mountain tops of giants. Oh no, dude, you're like, you know, maybe, beelining it. Maybe the heat is making. I th like, I Cody think so. Hallucinating. I think so, dude. Cody you're is like doing amazing. Guy Bailey. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Guy with Bailey's, and Cody with the heat. Did you like my joke? No, I was did honestly. I mean, <laughs> um. You know, if it was like crazy hot, I don't know if I could do it. it what, I live? Like. Do what? And I think you couldn't too. No, Like I would wait die. for it. Wait for what? For, for death? the motor of the AC. Oh. If it um, gets like crazy hot because we're not used to it. No, I would, I would. I mean, I don't know what sort of, I, I, is it, is it like central air? So that's, we have to ask that. What's that? Yeah. You know, like the air that. It's like your whole house is connected to this the one thing. The thing is that thing. here we don't have. No, AC. It's no, no house that has AC. We don't need it. No. So. I mean, I'm sure there's there's places in the coasts. No, but I'm saying here in Bogota. Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. Because, of course, when you travel, there's AC or there's a fan. Yeah. Or whatever, but. Yeah, mostly it's, I would say it's a lot of fans. No. I would, nowadays, I would, no. No, I would. You know, there's there's still a lot of places that are, you know, old school fans. Oh, if there's a fan, I'm going to take it. Like, I'm going to just put a chair in front of it. Yeah, but it makes sense that he he has central air and, you know, it's like this big ass motor that, um, I mean, the motor is everything. So I'm guessing that wasn't like an inexpensive um, fix. No, that's all of it. Mm. Jeff Eckhoff was saying, Carla, Taos is awesome. Was there last year visiting David and Sherry and painting around Taos and Santa Fe. No way. And Carla was saying, wow, Jeff, visiting David and Sherry and painting yeah, would be exciting. Yeah, he's on like first name, first name terms with uh, David LaFell yeah. and uh, Sherry McGraw, yeah. who are amazing. Yeah. You know that that was one of, um, what's it called? Oil painting secrets from a master? Something like, I forget. But uh, his um, his painting book, LaFell's painting book, uh, where uh, was was one of the books that I had when I was a student that I really, really, really loved and and appreciated. I really, really did. I never, I never um, studied under him, or I never went to like um, the league to study with. Uh, I think Greg Kreutz Kreutz was uh, teaching who had studied with him, under him, uh, for many, many years. So he was teaching very much like the same sort of David LaFell uh, way of like approaching painting. But it was super, super simple. I think it was a super simple book and it was very, very helpful for me. So, Catherine Poremsky was saying, I would love to visit that area someday, Taos slash Santa Fe. The artist that I mentioned above, that I used to work for has a gallery in Santa Fe or Santa Fe, as I would say. Well, yeah, for us, Santa it's Fe. very hard to not I say mean, Santa it in Fe Spanish. Santa. Right. I mean, Long that's... Long time ago, but yeah. Uh, Siobanu. Oh, no, I already read that question. Julia Tovar. 
Julia Totovar mm -hmm. was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that smile that you did. Uh, Julia was saying, hello, hello. So happy to catch you while I work. Hola, Julia. ¿En qué trabaja Julia? ¿Qué cuenta Julia? Julia, ¿y cómo ha estado el clima por la casa? De mm. Julia. Que por acá en Bogotá ha estado... Bueno, no estamos, o sea, no, tan, pero... tan lejos, pero, pero pues, sí. Pero de acá, dentro de Bogotá, a la casa de mi hermana, que también es dentro de Bogotá, acá puede estar lloviendo y allá puede estar haciendo sol. Sí, Entonces... sí. Eh... Michael McEwen was saying, have spent all day building flat pack furniture for my art materials. Nice. Is Nicolás any good at building things? Um, I feel Danny's better. I mean, I'm not, yes. I'm not incompetent at all, but, no. but I, I feel Danny has, I has I a knack of building like IKEA type furniture. Yeah, but like, um, no, but I, I think I would have loved to have like a, like um, just like a shop to do like woodworking. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have loved it. Anything, everything. Yeah, I I would have never bought like a uh, uh, stretcher bars ever. I would have framed everything on my own. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we just don't have that here. No. But um, but no, but I, I'm I'm handy. I'm I I am handy. I love tools. I think we both are very handy. Yeah, yeah. but in in the but I would put my money more on Danny in the sort of making something from scrap. And it not falling apart. Yeah, and Danny no, has, like, a better sense of, like, um, I don't know. She has, like, really good, some sometimes, like, intricate, a little too intricate, but very good sense of, like, problem solving. I'm more of, like, super simple, like, oh, we could solve it like this, but Danny has, like, a just way more elaborate, like, manner of trying to problem solve some of these things. And, and it's kind of cool to see her. I don't know heard the sayings like that someone can take apart a clock and build it again and there would be like two or three pieces left yeah but it still works yeah i think that would be you yes 100%. because you would 100 percent build it yes but sometimes you wouldn't like follow the one to one the things they say to do yeah like the instructions instructions so it's gonna called, be yeah. there but mysteriously there's like some things that you'd never use to build the thing. Well, they didn't realize it when they did it, but they... They um, were extra. Extra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cody Winicky was saying, turns out our AC is 24 years old and everyone is amazed it still works. The well, part we need is discontinued. Oh, but God. they found one that, quote unquote, should work. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to just replace the whole thing next... Spring. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's what I was going to say. Like, if you told me, like, oh, you have to fix. Oh, I'm buying another one. Yeah. But imagine all the things you have to do to change all the AC well, while in summer. I think it's a great thing that Cody is deciding to just try and see if the motor hel helps, at yeah. least for the end of the summer. And then they can do, like, the big change. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Imagine just like not having AC. I at mean, all for it was months and it months would um, build character, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Prince Burbones was saying, "I wish I took notes for Dark like Danny. <laughs> We just started season three, but haven't watched it in months." Oh, no, you I'm have to rewatch it. I'm not going to know who is related to who slash when now. No, uh -huh. you have to rewatch it. Yes. I'm sorry. When I am we so were sorry. we going to see season two, we rewatched season one, and then we saw season two. When we were going to see season three, we rewatched season one and two. Yes. And then we did season three, even if I had the notebook. So. Yeah, yeah, so many things. More like a vivid memory of everything yeah and it's so cool because there's so many things that you were like are you serious like there's so many little again like only in rewatches you would realize that they were hinting at stuff that you would never even like get a chance of like knowing on your first viewing so it's pretty awesome it's really really awesome yeah but i'm sorry you gotta you gotta 
binge watch like super quickly the first uh, two seasons. Mm. Like, don't even talk to me if you don't. If you're just like winging it, you're like, oh no, we'll we'll remember. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Julia Tovar sending your heartbeat back. Was saying, I really want to rewatch Heroes because I have a new appreciation of Milo Vintimiglia. Oh, okay, yeah. Why is that? Por qué, Julia? He's an actor, but I don't know if I don't <laughs> know what the appreciation is for. He's an actor? Well, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he was great in that show, but sure. Jeff Acuff. Maybe a little whiny. Dice, buenas noches todos. Buenas noches, Jeff Acuff. Have a good night's sleep. Uh, Siobanu Bogdan was saying, doesn't a 24-year-old AC just consume all the electricity on planet Earth per hour? Joke. That uh, is, uh, but isn't the bill enormous on such old units? I would have no idea. No idea. Cody was saying, Siobanu, it's not too bad, but I bet it is more expensive than it would be if we upgraded. The problem is upgrading is expensive. I'm yeah. sure it's very expensive. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Siobanu. Yeah, but the, the cause of the heat wave throughout the whole of the south of america cody i'm sorry i was reading. cause of the heat wave cody, cody. Yeah. yeah it falls entirely on his shoulders <laughs> so thank you cody siobanu was saying if it works and it's okay as a consumer uh then it's good to go for as long as it will carla was saying danny i use nails recommended by the hardware store painting seems solid on the walls Okay, because I was remembering that we were trying mm -hmm. in this apartment yeah. to put one painting that I wanted to have. So where I work, I have like an exterior wall. So yes. the wall that goes to the street. And we were trying to put a hole there. And you, you have a great... Um, ¿Cómo es que se llama? Taladro? Um, drill. Drill. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good it's drill. It's like a very good drill. Drill. Yes, it's yes. Not... It's one of the expensive ones. So the problem was not the drill. It's not like like uh, you know, no, thousands wasn't... and thousands and thousands no, of but dollars. It's like a really but it's an good expensive one. good drill. Yes. Yeah. And it was like fuming almost. No, my arm was gonna fall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's no why way. I, no I way. I was asking could, because like... here in Colombia we have like real solid walls like brick it's like brick and concrete and concrete yeah yes so it is hard to open um oh if you hit hole. one of those walls but this one, forget it if it's a column like, yeah oh forget it because the interior walls yeah they're also hard they, well but they're different but it this, depends on, of course, on which yeah, yeah, type yeah. of wall if you hit a column no but the, like a structural one, beam oh no the column you forget can't forget it no yeah. no that's that's you can't go through that so that's why i was asking because i i would guess that the adobe houses because of the thickness of it yeah it's super hard to i mean it's it has to be thick enough to keep the like the heat from the outside out yeah of it so I thought that maybe it was complicated to drill a hole in them. Yeah. <laughs> eh, Cody Winicky was saying, Carla, I'm sure the people were actually drunk when it was on YouTube. Prince Bourbons was saying, Cody Winicky, I think you're right. My favorite episode of Drunk History is the Nikola Tesla one with John C. Riley as Tesla. Mm, Michael McEwen was saying, I'm painting David Suchet, who played Poirot, the Belgian detective, from Agatha Christie's book. Oh, nice. Yeah. Julia, La Julia, mm -hmm. was saying, a friend that lives in Argentina was mm -hmm. telling me how people are really baffled by how no one has a heating system or AC in Bogotá y alrededores. Mm -hmm. You know what? I've what? only been to one house here in Bogotá yeah. that had a heating system. 
Yeah. But it was because it was the house of an ex-boyfriend I had, but he lived uh like in the mountains. almost the mountains. Yeah. Tacha yeah. has also. Yeah, so it was like very cold. Yeah. So they had a heating system. But it's not usual at all. And I no, think no. no one And it's very expensive. And we don't need it here. To be honest, well, we, 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 as in, for here example, in you and me. our apartment, no, no, but there's, but in my sister's house, Kata, oh my oh. god, they're also like, but Kata is like in the middle of the mountain, yeah, she's so like, yeah, it, it gets like cold and damp, yeah, so they do, but what they have now is like a furnace, yeah, they have a chimney that is almost I like a furnace, chimney, yeah. oh, you could, you could dispose of like bodies in that thing. I don't know. That's where my body. That's where my mind that's went. That's where I'm my sorry. body went. That's where my body went. <laughs> mm. William Felipe. William Felipe dice no. buenas, buenas, no, no, como no. van. No, chao. chao. William Felipe, feliz 2023, feliz 2022. No, chao. Feliz 2021. Te apuesto que estaba, estaba durmiendo. Ay, de pronto ya se fue. De pronto estaba me durmiendo o comiéndose como un arequipe <laughs> o una paleta. Y hablando de eso, me queda un poquito el dulce de leche de mi hermana. Que no es dulce de blanco, leche, mi manja... Sí, sí. No, no, es que Julia dijo Argentina y en mi cabeza dije dulce de me leche, pero el sí, favor. No, obviamente le no. dices al manjar blanco. Mi delicioso manjar blanco en coca. No, así me dices Qué a mí. Delicia. Dile de otra forma. <ríe> a ver. Cody Winicky was saying, Prince Bourbons, yeah, that's when the show was in its prime. It feels more sterile now. Oh, so it's still going. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that they say, like, you know, if you, if you go back and watch it. Okay. It, it doesn't, like, you know, enter, like visual entertainment has become so unhinged, I feel, that things that you thought were, like, super, super, I don't know, strange... It's like almost like watching like MTV from mm. the late 90s. The, it felt so radical at that time. And now you watch it and you feel like, oh my God, everyone is so Do you remember so that we were seeing the yeah, TV one of those, show where Caramo was yeah, participating? One of those reality, like... When he was not uh, from Queer Eye. It's, it's, it was so weird. Because <laughs> I grew up with like you know, real world and all that stuff from MTV. I also, I mean, I remember like Teen Mom and all the things. I like, See, that's that's your MTV, which was kind of different from mine. I saw, let's see, because I also used to see VH1. Okay, see, I didn't. I don't know, in my, I uh, know, I was, no, whatever. VH1. What, what are you going to no, say? No, 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 no. Come on, say No, it. that I was going to mistake the name of VH1. For, what were you going to say? <laughs> HIV, I don't know why. HIV? Oh, my God. Well, yeah, let's HIV. not, let's no, not no, no. go there. Okay. So, I used to uh, watch <laughs> sorry. VH1. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a mistake. It's an honest, <laughs> cute mistake. Um, so, VH1. Yeah. You know, I loved one TV show. Yeah. That was called America's ER. Next uh, Top Model. I, I told you about it and you tried to look for it in the... Web. No, but it's it wasn't it wasn't that. That's not what it's called. Yeah. No, America's Next Top Model is no, something that America's I remember. America's most smartest model. So most I'm sorry. Smartest? Yeah, that's Okay, that's was a joke. It was the game. Yes, of yes. I I, America's I remember America's most smartest model. I have to look for it again. I, no, I I'm couldn't. very good at pirating. So. I remember you were like, "You know well, what? I'm going to get it to you." And I was like, "Yes." And I called my sister. And I was like, "Natty, we're going to be able to rewatch it." And then I and didn't it's been deliver. Seven years. <laughs> oh, oh, forget it. Now I'm gonna have to buy a VPN so we could download it from no, like no, Hulu no. or something. I remember. Uh, I, what was the name of the guy, the one with the big clogs? What? W why am I forgetting the name? A dude with clogs. Clocks, clocks, clocks. TikTok. The clocks. Oh, um. Uh, oh, fuck me. Uh, why am I forgetting it? But then. One of the participants had a TV show that was called I Love New York. Yeah. Because she was New York. Yeah. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. Yeah. Oh, yeah. William Felipe said Flavor Flav. Yeah. Um, yeah, but these were things that I was watching when I was older. Yeah. Mm, I do. Oh, Awkward. Awkward yeah. was in MTV. I love that series. 
I have it. You gave it to me. I like, gave you the whole thing. Yes. I love it, and I know the dialogues. I was surprised. Of the first seasons? Yes, you do. The first episode, I think I could quote. I think you like, could quote all of it. 90% of it. Of it. Yeah. And the other 10, I would just say it in my head because I was a little ashamed that you would know. <laughs> I know. Um, Julia was saying, so trashy MTV, haha, but I loved it. I saw Flavor Flav and Next. Oh, yeah, Next. Next was cool. Uh, what else? Mm-hmm. What is it? No, this was a different again. To memory lane. Different MTV from my my MTV. I had cool animation. <laughs> I had like Eon Flux, and uh, the Max. Eon uh, Flux. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, Pimp My Ride. Yeah, I remember those. Room but... Raiders. I love no. Room Raiders. I remember the first time I saw the ultraviolet light. Oh my god. It was yeah. It was awful. <laughs> but I was like, what is that? Yeah. Sperm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Laguna Beach and the Heels. I saw that. Yeah, it was so trashy. Um, Because it says, next, the Heels, True Life, Celebrity Deathmatch. Oh, that was 16 funny. 16 and Pregnant, Rich Girl. Not funny. Meet the Barkers, Cribs. Oh, Cribs, yeah. My Super Sweet 16. Yeah. And then they did one. In Colombia. Well, in Latin America. It was called Quiero Mis Quince. I watched that too. Uh, parental Control. I Want a Famous Face. No, what? What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> like Face Off? They just I want ripped somebody face. someone else's face. Uh, the show opened with the slogan, You think you know, but you have no idea. About what? I have no idea. That's what it says. Oh, fuck. Let's see. So it says young people become celebrity lookalikes through plastic surgery. Oh my god! Everything goes. Oh I no! Love this. I think I think I remember that. Yeah. It's Which, but, why like, are you like? Uh, no, and they had like. A, what? No, it's just that you were like, oh no. No, that it was terrible. I remember that they were like with Britney Spears photo. Okay. And they were like, Doctor, I want to look like her. And I love this. The doctor was like, let's go. So we have to cut here and here let's and we have go. to change these and these. And then you would see like their recovery. Yeah. Yeah. And then they would do, if I'm not wrong, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm remembering that then they did a comparison oh. of what they wanted. Yeah. And like a year after. A year? Like, no, result, it, it, it couldn't be a year. Because it was like. Real plastic couple surgery. Of yeah, but a couple of months, maybe. Well, I always thought it was like a year. No, no, no. I'm sure the production wouldn't go for like a year. The Ashley Simpson show. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But yours was the 90s because I was looking for 2000. Yeah. Mine so. was uh, Real World, Road Rules. So it says uh, Total Request yeah, Live. Yeah, TRL. Yeah. R that Road was... Rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single Doubt. I don't remember Head that. Bangers Bull, Making the Band. Making the Band. Friends, Making the Video. Mm -hmm. The Real World, The Challenge, Eon Flux. Oh, amazing. True Life, Teen Wolf. The, the, is, is one called The Head or was it, what's it called? The Head is another animation. The, he the Head, yeah. Oh, amazing. So fucking wacky. The Head. Yeah, fucking so good. Uh, say what, Kara. Karaoke. Oh, Kari yeah, terrible. Karaoke. 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 Yeah. That E, why? If it know. says karaoke. I don't know. Kar Japanese. Karaoke. I don't know. Uh, The Brothers Grunt. I remember that. Paris Hilton's My New BFF. Well, yeah, she was, you know. The Ashley Simpson Show, again. I don't remember that. MTV Unplugged. I used yeah, to see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, That was huge. Daria. Yeah. Uh, that was, I didn't like it. I didn't like it as much. To be honest, no, I was a little wasn't. too depressive and grungy, and I mean, I was grungy, but not grungy like uh, cartoon grungy. Um, Julia was saying, "Ah, yes, I think I remember the Britney Spears one. Haha, <laughs> so bad and so good." <laughs> um, William Felipe said, "Uy, see sí, next." Y también uno que se llamaba como You Wanna Come In, que era como de citas y le decían, "Ay, sí." 
que le decían cosas al protagonista por interno. Sí, sí, sí. Y al final era que si, si pasabas la cita, mm -hmm. cuando llegaban a la casa, tú le decías, you wanna come in. Oh, my God. You o, wanna... pues no. Eh, William Felipe también dice, Meet the Bakers era muy bueno y en VH1 el de Hulk Hogan. Ja, ja, ja. Uy, bueno, ya. A ver, espérate. V ya no se puede. VH1. 2000 shows. Sí, Flavor of Love. Luego, I Love New York. But I think the one that we watched was the, the challenge. And I, I mean, I, I've never gone back to watch like those reality shows. But what I do know is that, I mean, like from, from today's lens, that is also a little distorted, by the way, because I think we are, it's gotten to a point where we're a little too like sterile, I feel. As a society, we're learning to, we're probably, we probably went to the edge of just trying not to say anything that would upset anyone. And we're slowly learning how to like have a voice again. But I think those things were at the direct opposite. They could just fucking, they could say anything. Because we were watching it and we were like, oh, that's, yeah, you couldn't do that yeah, right now. No. You couldn't do that. And both like dudes and and you know, girls would say the same thing, like it would be the same thing. It was like overtly sexual. It was super sexualized, everything. Guys were idiots, were fucking idiots. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, you, you realize that it's like, yeah, this is, this is not going to work. I If never, you did it today, you can't, can't make that work. I never saw this, uh, show. Which one? It was a VH1 called My Antonio. Okay, no. He was like a guy named Antonio Sabato. Oh, he was like uh who wanted a girl. Yeah, he was hot for like a minute. Antonio Sabato Jr., I remember. No? Yeah. Y but is isn't there like a junior in there? Yeah, junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it says eh Does Antonio Sabato Jr. really need help getting a woman? Apparently, that's a void that exists in his life. Oh, it's so. So the 36-year-old actor, one-time model, <laughs> time model. Oh, he was a like he was a Calvin Klein model. I feel that's what made him famous. But why why are they saying one-time model? That sounds terrible. No, 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 one-time like one model. Campaign. Like you were a model. No, 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 no. It's not like okay. they took a fo one photo. <laughs> that's of what me. I thought. I was like, yeah, okay. thank you. <laughs> We'll call we'll call you, yeah. Antonio. Uh no no no. He was So he was like a former model. Yeah, he was okay. he was a very famous like um I think it was Calvin Klein. So a lot of abs and you know, penis showing through the uh briefs. That was Calvin Klein back then. So Yeah. Um let's see. Julia dice, ay, awkward, no me acordaba de eso, jaja, ja, también me gustaba mucho. Yo amo awkward, Julia. Sí, aquí... Para mí eso, un antes y un después en mi vida fue awkward. Uh -huh. eh... Sí. Catherine Poremsky was saying, a friend of mine saw Flavor Flav at a bike shop recently. <laughs> really? <laughs> What would you do? I would do flavor, flavor. I I don't know if he entertains people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's he's. No, I wouldn't do. Seems anything. very cool, but I don't know if mm, people know if want to be cool. like. I mean, he's a character, but I don't like. I don't know if people like to be in character all the time. Yeah, so. wait, that would be super annoying. Imagine someone knowing you because of a TV show or like a quote that you say. And you know that every time you're going to go out, they're going to do that. That thing. happens to a lot like, of them. Flavor, flavor. And you're like, get the hell out. You're like the 10th person to do that today. Yeah. But I wonder if if years go by and nobody does it, that they feel like they everyone has forgotten them. And that also, you know, makes oh, them depressed. That's, yeah, that's sad. Yeah. William Felipe dice, creo que en MTV también daban uno que se llamaba Scar. Uy, sí. Y eran caídas en Esos skate eran y los BMX de... y mostraban todo. Sí, era horrible. Sí, sí, que se volvían mierda. Sí. De, se, uy, que se rompían los huesos. No, horrible. Y sí. Mostraban cómo se les salía el hueso. Y como luego, como en la sala de urgencias y... Como sí. no, me tuvieron que poner 36 grapas. O sea... A ver, 
con Where una cosa de la norma de oficina. So, where were we here now? Mm. I gave him like this ridiculous haircut, but I think von Ka von Kaiser has uh has like a weird little floopy hair. If I'm not mistaken, if I don't remember. Let me see, Von Kaiser. He's got like his hair parted. I'm gonna check. Cody Winnie was saying yeah, he's got parted oh, hair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, no, go ahead. Cody Winnie was saying, ha ha ha, Nicolas, maybe my fighter name should be global warming. <laughs> no, because you're causing it. So it would be global warmer. Okay. No? Yeah. Earth destroyer? The destroyer of Earth. No, you change it too much. It's global warming, so global warmer. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. Mm, William Felipe antes estaba diciendo feliz año. Uf, ya empezamos a hablar de comida. Ja, ja. Um, Michael McEwen was saying one of my best friends was British bare knuckle boxing champion. No way. That is rad. Yeah. Oh my god. I would love to talk to to some of those people. Fucking fearless. They're they're a different breed, I feel. Mm. Julia was saying, haha, because of two very girly series. Gilmore Girls and This Is Us. Talking about Milo Vintimiglia. Oh, okay. You know, I've never seen Gilmore Girls or you know, Us. You know, my roommate and I used to watch it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, I mean, you liked it because you were seeing it. So. Yeah. We were... Uh, what year is that? Just as, Gilmore just as, Girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I want to see if I sound creepy if I say whatever I'm going to say. 2000. Okay, so it's not super creepy. So I was like 23, 22, 23. So it was, it was, I mean, how old was the girl in the show? Fuck, no. See, I'm going to sound illegal, so that's not good. No, but I guess that you, they do the characters so you feel like you have a crush on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I simultaneously thought the girl can be hot and the mom can be hot. So, you know, I was the audience, I guess. My roommate was older, so he's a freak. Uh, but yeah, we used to watch it. But I've heard it's a great show. I mean, okay, I, I've, change the I've subject, heard of, Danny. I've heard of a lot of people that really like the show. So, so. it was funny. It was. Mm, Prince Burbones was saying, "I have to go, but I'll catch the rest later. Until next time, have a good day, Prince Bye, Burbones." Zoe. Um. Rosaline Dion was saying what? hi, OPL fam. Hey, Rosaline, how are you? What are you doing right now? What do you think about MTV's? <laughs> oh, uh, you're like dropping her, dropping in her right into the conversation. I'm inviting her to the conversation. You know, it was not MTV or VH1 or HIV, as I what? Think. No, but, what? Uh. It was, what was also it? like a TV show at the time uh -huh. that I've told you about. The um, what? Where are you going with this? The move that I'm boss. I'm scared. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. we've talked about that. Well, here, that was that. I used to. I mean, at the same time that I watched MTV, it was like the time that I watched that TV show, and I really. Liked yeah, it. that was the. I mean, it was a strange time where people Extreme were like. Makeover. Yeah, they were just. You want to make your face look like someone else's face? We'll do that. You want to make your house look like somebody else's house? We'll do that. You want to make your car look like somebody else's car? We'll do that. Yeah. It was, again, I don't know. Um, People weren't satisfied, I guess. Julia dice, ja, 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 esa televisión con la que crecimos. Sí. Mucho que desear. Explica mucho. Uh, Rosaline Dion was saying, I used to watch the Jersey Shore crew. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think that's MTV. You know, I, I think I've never watched Jersey Shore. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah? Yeah, it was terrible. I just know that there was a 
a lady called Snooky. Yeah, a lady. <laughs> yeah. A lady no. called Snooky. Um, Rosalind was saying it's horrible. <laughs> Julia was saying, dice, en mi TV, creo que era Canal 3, MTV, en el mío también, Canal 4, VH1 y 5, HTV. <laughs> sí, no. <laughs> Ah, porque eran todos los de música sí, seguidos. Sí, 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 me acuerdo 100%. HTV era muy corroncho HTV. al comienzo, ¿no? Era... Y Julia dice HTV que era el que le gustaba a mi mamá. Sí, Ajá. era un poco, sí, sí, sí un poco corronchina sí, al, sí, al comienzo. Sí. sí, me acuerdo, me acuerdo mucho de eso, al comienzo y al final. Sí, no, estoy y tratando de acordarme ahora... si me sé el segundo apellido de Julia Marina Tobar, pero no me acuerdo, para decir la señora. Ay, qué güey madre, yo hay veces, hay veces tengo alumnos que me sé el segundo apellido. Pero no me acuerdo Flores. de... Flores. No, 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 no. Ay, jue madre. Rojas. No. Pérez. Bueno, pues podemos decir todos los apellidos Rodríguez. que tengan en mente. Pero, sí. No le estoy diciendo corroncha a su mamá, pero... Sí, pero sí me acuerdo. Tengo que decir que ese era el canal que estaba puesto siempre en una peluquería del centro comercial al que yo iba. Mm -hmm. <risa> siempre estaba HTV. Siempre. Es que no te acuerdas, o sea, la imagen que tienes de HTV viejo no es como que todo estuviera medio desenfocado y había como velas o, o, o como una chimenea no, sí, o, o como o una persona cantando cosas. y unos como caballos atrás. Sí, pero siempre había como unas luces así, como... como difusas. Sí, es como... que era fatal. Sí. Rosalind was saying, quote unquote, lady. She's a lady. I, mm. I mean... Julia was saying Julia Marina Tovar Mantilla. Ja, ja, ja. Y ella, Doña Marina Mantilla Martín. Tres M's. Uy, tres M. Ella es ma, ma, ma. <ríe> No es la Marina mamá, sino la mamá. Mantilla Martín. La mamá. Mantilla. Ma, ma. Eso, eso es eh, santanderiano, normalmente. El mantilla. Estás diciendo tal cual dice tu mamá. Que tú siempre eres, dicen un apellido y es, ah, eso debe ser de tal lado. Y no, tú estás pero ya ese, igual. Sí, ese sí estoy casi seguro. Cody was saying, Lady Snooky from the shores of Jersey. She does a lot of fire damage and is weak to cold weapons. Oh, look at that. Lady Snooky from the shores of Jersey. Very proper. Yeah. Could be like a Game of Thrones character then. Yeah. What would be Rosalind's um, fighter name? Fighter name? Oof. Let me think. I mean, I'm not. Uh, let me. When I say let me think, it's like it'll come to me. Okay. See. <gasps> What? Are you okay? No, espera. Not okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, uh, no. No, because Julia was saying, mi abuelo Mantilla era las salinas de Boyacá, pero mm -hmm. yo leí la salina y mi abuela sí. es de la salina. Casanare, y yo dije, ¿de la salina? Pero no. Mi abuelo Mantilla era de las salinas de, ca de Boyacá y Martín... De Casanare. Te Uy. había contado que escribió ah, Carmen ah, sí, sí, que sí, mi tío sí, escribió sí. Carmen Tea, claro que sí, me acuerdo. No, pues estamos, estamos, eh, estamos hablando con, con alguien de la historia patria de nuestros eh, llanos orientales. Uh -huh. Y de la música. De la música colombiana. Colombiana. Mm, Rosalind Sira was saying I need I need a new trashy show to watch. Never seen a Bachelor episode. Should I try it? So I've never seen... Uh, no, bachelor, bachelor we don't do. But we do Trashy TV with yeah. Nicolás. Yes. So we would suggest... What would you suggest? We've uh, seen... Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Yeah. So Love is Blind. Yeah. Which is absurd. Yeah. But that's what you want. And there's like four seasons or three seasons. Although Love is Blind is not super trashy. I would say. It's not super trashy. The other ones are like trashier. Okay, so too hot to handle. Yeah, maybe. But we, we haven't and what's the other watched one? All, the se like, all the seasons of it. Because it's like, well, no, that, this is 
starting to be a little dumb. Oh, no, no. I mean, I have my limits, but... Yeah. Mm, what else? So let me check on our Netflix to see what we see. Mm, so is there like a way to see what you watched because i know there's like a watch again thing but i don't see it my list no mm. Mm. Thought this was gonna be easier. No, my list trailers. Recently watched. So we're watching one. We see a lot of like uh cooking shows, but I wouldn't say it's like trashy TV. No, no, no. It's like. No, no, no. Trashy. You yeah. want you want those uh, you want those dating shows. So yeah, I I guess too hard to handle. I guess, um, mm. is that the one with the lights? No, that's, uh, are you the one? Are you the one? Oh, that's, that one's good. That was like an MTV one. Cause it's an old one. Yeah. You should watch that one. Are you the one? Yeah. That's it. That's pretty good. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, what else? That's I think that's the one I like the most. It's horrible. But we've seen a lot. Yeah, but like, that one we've I we've seen Love is Blind, the ultimatum. Oh yeah, that one's oh, ridiculous. We love... No, but this I wouldn't say this is trash TV. What, Selling what? Sunset. Has a lot I of mean, drama. It's a lot of drama. Great houses. So Russell, well... you love real estate and you got the lottery. Yeah. So I think you would also like um Selling Sunset. The original one. I have to say the other variations. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, but it's getting... It's, it's um, losing a little bit of steam, I feel. A little bit. Well, it I had a to... lot of steam. Yeah. You love the drama. I love the drama. My yeah. girls. Uh, <laughs> my girls. Yeah, but I I do think that they they stopped making it about the real estate? No, no, no. Now it's just drama. I need some real estate, though. I need some real estate talk. Just to balance the uh, drama a little bit. But if it was just... Um, just real estate, you wouldn't see it. No, no, no. But I need, I need that part, too, though. I need... That's what... You know, that's kind of like the through line of the show. Just the real estate. But I guess like real estate, the thing is, real estate is finite or like interesting stories about real estate. They're finite in like, you know, L.A., Beverly Hills, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. So even if they wanted to, it's not like there there's always going to be a place with like a very specific story that costs like, you know, 60 million dollars and they're trying to sell it. So, yeah, but now it centers more around the drama, but. Yeah, but I would suggest that one for Rosalind. They had a great villain. Yeah. But then... Villain. She's a real human being, Nicolas. They had a great real human being villain. <laughs> it was your left. favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked her. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I mean, the that's girl... That's when you stopped liking it. Yeah, the girl that's supposed to be like the good girl. I don't like her anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like, oh, stop it. Stop it. Like... Mr. Goody Two Shoes, like fucking stop it. Sola para. Sola Ish. paid. Sola paid. Mm. So, Liet was saying, hello, Danny, Nicolas, and chat. I started watching One Piece, the anime. Oh, dude. You you loved it. No, One Piece? No, which was the one? No, One Piece. I AJ is watching Lisa. One Piece. 
De la carita sirrita. No, no, no. That's um, oh, no, uh, no. And I was not thinking even about that, but one punch. Yeah, one punch. So not no, one no, no. piece. Saitama, no, no, no. Oh, one piece is the one that your uh, nephew was seeing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and my I, brother isn't probably. It like a, like crazy long it's like 10 years of your life yeah 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 so yeah. how many episodes are you into because people there's been like a resurgence of like people saying like i want to watch this i want to try to watch this so how many are you into mm, rosaline seed i was saying oh i've heard about that one which one because i think we've said like a yeah we, we said all of them rosaline please <laughs> rosaline was saying my past reality shows are actually super boring hoarders and Project Runway, haha. Oh, we love oh, we those love, fashion ones. Yeah. yeah. There's one in Prime Video. I would say that I, I really like the fashion ones. Yeah. I really do. I do too. I like them a lot. I think we've, because I was thinking the one in Prime Video, but we've seen all. Yeah. Because they're artsy. They're kind of cool. Yeah. I think oh, they're I really like, love the... a, not all of them, but a lot of those people are like freaking incredible no, artists. And the clothing design. It's yeah. Yeah. Great. And that's, yeah, and it's a lot of stress, and yeah. you know, it's cool. I like those. And I love that we always see like super risky things, and we both say like, "That's great. I would use that," and we would never. No. In a well, I say I like it, but no, you you say if it's I not would like a that. black T-shirt, I would use that. I probably won't use and it you're ever. Never, you're never gonna use it, but no, in my case, no. Mm. I think there's people that were meant to find pleasure in like fashion and there's people like me no because you find joy in fashion when you see it but not Good. you don't want to wear it i mean you it's not like you because you've seen the it's not like you see project runway and you say no i mean this is whatever this is whatever oh no say, i have oh, a this is no, I, I have, there's things that I like. Yeah, of course. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. From but like, you just decide to have like some staples that you want to use. So I think that's having a fashion stand. So I'm going to call it that and feel comfortable about it then. I think it is, to be honest. Julia was saying, my trashiest right now is, and just like that, no idea. What? It's called, and just like that. Just like that. And just like that. No, but that's, um, I was just tying it with Flavor Flav. He sings that. Flavor just Flav. like that. No, no, no. In one of the, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Had no idea. I only watched the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Julia was saying, and the Sex and the City thing. And it is so bad. I've never watched Sex and the City. Before, I was never a fan. To be honest. Never. I know that that was huge. Never a fan. I never thought Sarah Jessica Parker was funny. It's my thing. That was like the my thing. I don't know the the thing that stopped me. I just never found her funny. Rosaline Dion yeah. was saying, "I just put Love Is Blind in the queue." Oh, houses. Yes, yes. You have to see Selling Sunset too. Um, Sofia Centurion dice, "Hola chicos, cómo están?" Alcachofa. Sofía, ¿qué más? Liad was saying, hi, Rosalind, Michael, Carla. Carla, I'm going to stream later tonight, too. And Rosalind was saying, no way, Liad, I'll stop by. And Rosalind was saying, I always like the bad guys. Oh, without them, there's nothing. Yeah. Eh, Alcachofa, Alcachofi. Eh, plugué clases. Creo que la Sofi creo que está dando clases. Ah, o va a dar clases, va a dar taller. O... A ver, Sofi, cuéntenos. Plugué las clases. Eh... Sophie, no sé si sean en línea, pero entonces las, las puede pluguear, por favor. Mm, Carla was saying, Liad, me too. I set the bell to alert. And Liad was saying, I'm almost up to 200. Awesome, Carla and Roslyn. Michael McEwen was saying, say yes to the dress, LOL. Is that another TV show? I've, I think I've never seen it. But just because of the title, I want to watch know, it. No, I know what it is. I mean, a wedding dress, of right? Course. Yeah, it has to be. Say, dr say dress. Say, say dress, dress to the, the yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I've never seen that. But it's a wedding thing. Of course. Yeah, I don't know. I would watch. 
Oh. Maybe one. Maybe one dress? Maybe one one uh See one episode. <laughs> yeah. Um Julia was saying the one with tan from Queer Eye next in fashion is really cool. Yeah, they're very good. Although it's a very obvious copy of Project Runway. It's really good. And it was with Alexa Chung, which I have to say The first one. Yeah, the other the one was one. with uh what's her name? I forget. It starts with G. G G. G G Hadid, yeah. But I was gonna say Alexa Chung is absolutely stunning. So You like her, yeah, yeah, yeah. I she's... think she's super cool. Yeah. She is super pretty and she dress dresses super cool. I love her hair too. I don't she's not my type type, but I thought she was very she's super natural. She's cool. She's super she's natural. Like, she's yeah. super comfortable like with herself. So I like that. I think she's very cool. Uh Liad was saying episode 196 to be exact. Started a week and a half ago. Uh, Rosaline Sita was saying, never have seen sex in the city. I don't want to, lol. <laughs> and Julia was saying, Project Runway always reminded me of entregas in our university. Oh, yeah, yeah you have to, ru you Run, have to. Yeah. yeah, rush everything. Start making a dress out of like <laughs> trash bags. Yeah. Mm, Julia was saying, Rosling, you're not missing anything, lol. I love that. Julia is saying this and she's saying that she's watching it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I'm in season six. Don't worry. You're it's not horrible. missing don't anything. Worry. Yeah. But I've been that person. Because I've seen lots of series. Netflix yeah. Series. You, you are like surprised by the things I've seen. Or like. I mean, heard. I leave to see, to do a workshop and I come back and our Netflix is totally different. No, but it's not it's even like, that. Be no, no, no. Because it's you like, liked when I'm working, and it's very scary. And it's like because you liked a thousand ways to make your partner disappear. And I'm no, like, what I the love hell? True, I love true, uh, true crime things. I love true kill you. No. Uh, no. Yeah, no, it's it's a little scary. I'm always like, hey, Danny. I'm always. You always give me water and no, I, but it's always know, throw it out. It's always like true crime, and like chick flicks. And um, terrible series. There's, I mean, I've seen lots of series. For example, I loved uh, Jane the Virgin. Yeah, that's terrible. It's so no, good. It's so bad. Someone here saw it, maybe. I no, think it's great. They're blind now. It's great. Um, yeah, but like that, I've seen a lot. But you know why? Well, Jane the Virgin is great, but there's a lot of different series like that. That I can just like live in and just listen to them. As I said the last time, it's like things I can listen to without really watching them yeah. while I work. Like while I carve or while I'm doing something in the computer or whatever I'm doing, I know I can't listen to them. And it's not like I'm going to miss the show because I'm not watching it or that I have to pay like close attention to it. So. So, for example, I saw Grey's and Frankie, and I liked it. Terrible. Uh, let's see. Sofía Centurión dice, yeah, Jaja, muchas plug. gracias, Nico. Sí. sí, estoy dando clases aquí en Montevideo actualmente. Ah, Tengo pues. cuatro alumnos y el próximo 12 y 13 de agosto voy a estar haciendo un workshop de retrato al óleo. Por ahora, todo presencial. Ah, bueno, muy bueno. Chévere. Um, Liad was saying my girlfriend likes the housewives shows and the queer eye show. Oh, we see the we see queer eye too. Yeah, we yeah. watch queer eye too. Because mm. I I used to watch those shows, you know, when they first started. Uh, I have to because Samu is calling me, but I have oh. to tell him that. No, no, no. I have to. Do tell you want him. me to? Write no, 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 no. Back to him. Um. Yeah, but we watch Queer Eye. We like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good show. I I grew not well, not grew up with it, but I remember, I remember the um the older, you know, the the OG mm -hmm. Queer Eye, 
and how much of a phenomenon it was too. Mm -hmm. So I I I liked it. I I I enjoyed it. Like and know. they're very nice. They I, are... I mean, as much as you can glean from people that you don't know. No, I have to say, for example, Anthony, the chef. Yeah, you like him. Well, he's, he's so like, nice. He's like well, so he's, nice. He seems like a nice, you know, kind of gentle, nice dude. He's so, so nice. I would love to be his friend because he's so nice. Okay. You know, and his husband. You're sounding thirsty. No, and his husband is also so nice. They just oh seem like good people. Good people. You're sounding like. Good people. They are good people. They are. They're beautiful people. Rosaline Dion was saying, Alexa Chung is always stylish. Love her. Yes, she's like effortlessly stylish and cool and beautiful. She's so cool. Okay, get a room. Liad was saying, what about RuPaul's Drag Race? My girlfriend's, my girlfriend loves that show. My sister is a huge fan of it. Yeah. I think I've never seen one episode. Yeah. But she I'm... told me that we have to watch at least one. So... I'm I've watched it but I'm not I'm not super big. I mean, you know, drag people amazing, you know. You go girl. But I don't know. I don't find it it's not quite for me. And I think you know what? I think we did watch like um no, like some episodes like half no, a season you know, or no, one no, no. season. I'm remembering something because you said a comment about uh RuPaul or I said something about him and you told me he was like super tall. Yeah, he is. So we went to tall. an episode to see how tall he was. No, but I, I know I watched more than one episode. No, but I didn't. I don't know if we if I watched it without you, maybe. I don't know. Could be. Uh, Julia was saying, love Anthony. Maybe my favorite. He's my favorite, too. And Tan. Yeah. I think he's cool, the uh, Tan. Yeah. I think he's very... I think he, he's... Very genuine and very warm, you know. Can yeah, yeah. But, but Anthony they're all too. Super, they're all super kind. Anthony's just they're, like they're kind. They're nice too nice. Dudes. They're they're nice dudes. Yeah. Um, Sofia Centurion dice: Nico, conoces a Martin Campos? Eh, no lo conozco, pero sí sé la obra. Sí, fantástico. Monstruo, <laughs> monstruo. Esa chili está paradita. Los ahí, los sale. pasteles que hace son una barbaridad. O sea, ahorita porque porque eh, pues no, no podemos andar comprando cosas todo el tiempo, eh, pero vi unos pasteles que hizo, bueno, él todo el tiempo, o sea, todo el tiempo postea, pero, pero posteó unos hace poquito, como antier o ayer, Uf, buen madre, muy buenos, entonces quería escribirle como para decirle a ver cuánto los vende, que no son tan baratos, entonces me dio como un poquito de susto, pero... Um, pero no, me, me tuve que contener, me tuve que contener porque sé que me vuelvo muy responsable. Tengo que ponerme ahí como límites. So, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I think I have to somewhat stop with what I'm doing. Um, and I'll wait for Danny to get back to, to now, you know, uh, formally, former, formally finish the video uh but um i'm very i'm i'm very clear about what i want here with like big ass shoulder and and i know i want his like um sort of military pants like like super up high almost like a for uh for fans of uh wrestling like a sergeant slaughter i don't know if if that rings a bell for anyone but um, you know, he's got that sort of tank top. He actually has like uh, suspenders in the game, but I wanted like a like a, a bit of a tank top just to make him a little bit different than from the others. And and because I love that these torsos are so fucking thick, that um, if you shorten them, like if if you were uh, if you had to like describe the the lower abdomen, because it usually breaks at the upper abdomen. But if you had to describe like the navel and the lower abdomen, like the body changes quite a bit. They don't look so massive. They're going to start to look maybe more heavy set. But I love the fact that they, you know, like old wrestlers, like old um, Lucha Libre wrestlers, or they, they always look like super thick and strong. I mean, of course, these were like crazy strong dudes. They were like, you know, they're, they're like, um, um, 
110 kilo, you know, dudes flying, you know, in the air. So they're strong. They're freaking strong. But um, always loved their chest, but they always had these like super high shorts. Um, and I always love that. I always love that kind of midsection that um, that covered, you know, I guess that broken midsection and uh, and then how compact it would make this these like super wide torsos look. It just it would look I know it's a dumb kind of definition of strong, but I don't think of strong like in, in my mind that strong is not like um like a super heavy roided, you know, Hulk figure, like veins popping and muscles upon muscles upon muscles. Or I don't think of strong as in like these like, you know, incredibly kind of chiseled bodies. I don't know why my mind goes to like these, these like, you know, again, this is probably not natural even at the time, but, but just these like strong, but kind of older bodies and they don't have to be perfect. I don't know why they feel super, super human, just really, really fleshy. So, um, I know that sometimes I just concentrate on this and, and, you know, I shouldn't because I still have like a bottom section to deal with. And what I'm struggling with is that my this arm is really not supposed to like um, fit if I have to be very, very honest. So I have to, I didn't think about this, but I have to solve it. And I don't know if I can solve it like right now. If I'm, I have to think about how I want to solve the fact that it's going to be so, so near to, um, to the bottom or maybe even cropped. So, so that I have to be um, a little careful about, but um but it's exciting and he's he's got those a mix of like military pants but also like equestrian sort of old equestrian pants or something like that which i i i think it's kind of you know for this to be like a shape right here just a little section of a shape it's just kind of strange but it's it's kind of cool to just have that little bit there of of um of the opening of that shape so I like it. I, I like that, but I feel like I'm not finishing it off well over here. So I have to think more about these these little this little bit these little bits. So that's that's what I'm about to um to do. But I have to um I have to see if uh if we can do that. And I also have to um well we're both gonna do this, so this is a good good moment to try to hint at people you know, something that we're going to offer for, for anyone that's interested. Like this is yes. something that's super open, mm -hmm. but, uh, but a lot of people had asked that, and especially people that weren't able to get our um, physical books, they, you know, we get plenty of people asking about if we would consider eBooks or, or like PDF books or, you know, stuff like that. And uh, we, we never had considered it, but we are going to, to put those, you know, at a super, super affordable price to put those up for sale. And we're In also, page? yeah. And we're also going to, you know, put up for sale a PDF that uh, has like in a nice kind of format and nicely reproduced. Um, like an extended Yeah, like version. we had like Possibilities, which was our last book. And this would just be like an appendix to mm -hmm. Possibilities. It's not like a, like a, a, a second edition, let's say. No, no, no. We're going to, you know, keep possibilities as a book because we actually like that that was a very specific project. But we're we're gonna do like a you know probably same size, like an appendix. And the cool thing is we're gonna upload the actual PDF. So this is the print PDF that we use to print our books. Yes. And we haven't discussed this, Danny, but this is the like the nature of what we do. Like, if you want to print the book, go print it. Yeah. Honestly, go print it. So. Yeah. We are going to surrender our rights, let's say, to to you that if you weren't able to to get the book, you can just purchase it for, again, super cheap. We're thinking of like maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks, you know, 10 bucks to download the PDF. And if you go to any site, honestly, and if you just upload the PDF, they will print it for you and they can bound it for you. And it could be. You know, for for every, I think, do we have covers for uh, all the all of those still? Covers. Yeah, the front covers, the um, las portadas. Yes. I think we do. I do have so we can actually give you also like the files for the covers if you want to do that. Um, so you know, you can have 
a bound book and it, and and they are like exact size that the books were printed at so you could do that and you know we know that it's a risk because people would say like well if one people downloads the thing you could just share it to other people or you could just upload it to like um i don't know to any sort of website so that it could be pirated or re-downloaded for anyone we kind of know that but i think we've always been super like trusting and respecting of our community and we've always felt like hey here's our picture to download you can download it and you can print it and you can do anything you want with it and i've always felt that if you trust people you never like in our case it wasn't like our books like bootleg books were like all over like oh you know they're offering this like you know weird version of your book but it, we want to do it now and we think it's kind of cool and i also think that I mean, there's been people that bought the physical book. Yeah. That have uh, like written to us telling us, oh, I love this like spread and I would love to have this framed or I love this image. So this is also an opportunity to because it is the actual PDF with the images. Yeah, they're so not. So if you like, for example, one specific image and you want to print it in the size of the book, for example. Yeah, you could do it's that. It's like you could still have your book, but it's like you can copy that page and rip it and have it in great quality and you can frame it if you want to frame it. Yes. Or not frame it, but paste it where you work or in the, I don't know. Yeah, it won't be fridge, like, just, wherever, to make it, but just to make it clear. It's not a poster, no. It, yeah, it won't, it's not going to be like a TIFF file, like a super huge TIFF file. No, th those, I mean, those are great. But if we were uploading like versions no, of our book with like, like TIFF story. files, it would be like gigs no, of, yeah. you know, those would be like super, super heavy. No, but it's the PDF. No, it's the actual it PDF that you send to the printer. Yeah. You know, those can't be super heavy. You have to send them like, you know, the right size and they are saved as PDF files. So, you know, they there is, well, there's compression, not real compression going on if you actually size your images like properly. But um, but yeah, so if anyone, you know, if, if anyone's interested in that, if anyone wants to download it and just eventually you don't have to do it, you know, uh, immediately. But if if you want to eventually print it with like printer of choice or somebody you trust, um, you can do that. So so we're going to offer that. And I think it's a, I think it's a cool thing. I think it's a it's a really cool thing because we, you know, books are very specific objects and and the physicality of a book it's a beautiful i think it's a beautiful thing i think you know i've always believed in the value of physical books i i really still do i still you know having um said goodbye to most of my books at one point in my life i still buy books mm -hmm. i still you know i i bought the um i i, I was missing the um the old um art of spider-man the uh spider-verse book the Into the Spider-Verse book, and I bought that one, and I bought the Across the Spider-Verse book. Um, I've bought a bunch of, like, uh, books that I used to work uh, with, you know, that, that we had at work when I was an illustrator. I found them on eBay, and I love that I can find these books again. And, and th they were, like, reference books for, like, uh, tons of... Um, um portraits like heads mm -hmm. you know and they have like different expressions but mm -hmm. these are like books from the, like, the 60s and they're or early cool. 70s but they're so cool yeah. so they they look dated the, the photos you could use as reference i guess just to practice and they do look dated but they are so freaking amazing yeah. and they and take me back to my job so which was a super interesting part of my life find so. like very different variations of that like newer variations of that but you still decided to have the book Oh, I, I loved, and I got like a really good deal. I mean, these, and it, and it's in perfect state, mm. this one. But people usually ask for, you know, quite a bit of money for them. Like when I say quite a bit of money, I think they go for like 200 bucks or 250 bucks, like um, the, the set that I got. And I offered the guy, I was like, I'll offer you a hundred bucks. And he, immediately he was like, yes. I'm shipping them <laughs> and right I was now, like, yeah. And I was like, great, like that, that I think that's a fair price. Yeah. So, so we are very excited with that because yes, I mean, we are very happy to know that there's people interested in the book still, but it's like very hard for us to always say no. I mean, it it was limited, and the the printed version was limited. 
Yeah, and we're not going to print them again. And we're not going to print no, it no. again. So the way in which people can have it in a virtual form yeah. is this one. So we are very happy to do that in the upcoming uh, weeks. Yes, I think so. So and, and you know, there's there's a younger generation that is, you know, closer like the the their computer or their iPad um are are tools that they have they you know they they are they're closer to their practice than let's say my generation. So, you know, maybe it's easier for them to just have a book, you know, right there in their iPad, right there in their, you know, um laptop. Um, than to think that they have to own a library. So I think that's my, you know, just us realizing like, oh, there's enough people here that ask about this. We can make this like something nice and not only make it available, but also, like I said, then this is super, super important because we're saying it consciously. Uh, so it's, it's not like a thing that we're going to um, regret saying. Trust me, we know what we're saying. Like, we kind of surrender the the sort of copyright. For yeah, this. well, I mean, the book still has like the copyright yeah, yeah, at no. the end. No, no, but so it's not like no, no, no. But but I I want I to mean, make you this. You could print it and whatever yeah, I want to make this like super clear. Like you can print it, you can of print course, it, yeah. and you can make one more than one print, and you could you know give it to your friend, and you could do honestly, you could do whatever you want with it. I truly believe that there's not going to be people printing it and then trying to sell it because it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. But I, in the same way we were sharing like our artwork for the longest time and people could have printed it and printed on anything and, and sold it and ne they never did. So I think that's one of the cool things of being like having a small kind of cool community that we can say those things. And it doesn't, it, it I think it strikes like a place in our community that, that It, re it reminds us that it's like, no, this is a good thing. Like, we don't have to ruin a good thing. This is just cool. And um, so we want to do that. So uh, if people want to do that, it's super, super cool with us. It's super, super fine. So, so uh, yeah. Liad was saying, yeah, have to be clear that it's for personal use only. Otherwise, people could sell it. Yeah. Rosaline's. No, yeah. And I mean. I, I doubt that people Personal would. use. No, but I think that's fair. I mean. Yeah. For personal use means that you can print one for every person of your class and give it as a Christmas gift. If you want to do like this page for, I don't know, Natalie, this page for Peter, whoever, that's nice. I mean, and I think that we if never, we are never going to be opposed to that kind of thing. I wish I wish I could say like, no, I'm fine with anything else. Because I do feel like in my bones, I feel like that. I feel like, go, print it. And if you want to sell it, try to sell it. And if you make more money, if you make money off of it, that's great. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know why I feel kind of, because if I feel that that's, like, if people can sell t-shirts of, like, I don't know, the David. Like, if they can sell aprons of the David where, you know, you have a kind of like a marble penis and it's funny and, ah, uh, And people make a living doing those and it's like a thing. And I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And people would say like, well, that's Michelangelo. He's not alive. Like, you know, the impact that you would feel if you're alive, if somebody is taking like, you know, nothing. Uh, no, Chile. no, no, no. But it's if the impact that li living people would have if, if somebody takes like these, these options away from them, that's something that's very real. Like, I know that, I know, but I don't know. There's a, a part of me that I've always felt that, you know, art is like this super open thing. And, um, and yeah, and I think we have a, we had a chance to sell it. And, you know, we did that and we did well. So I don't know if somebody else wants to take a stab at it. It's like, yeah, go sell it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I know, I know. This is something that we no, have I'm to not discuss. Saying anything. I mean, but, I'm not anything. But no, I just... know. But I wish it was like that. I wish it was like just, I don't know. Do whatever you want with it. I don't know. Roslyn was saying, you guys are amazing. I love my book. Everyone should jump on this seriously. Carla Anglada was saying, yes, yay. I'm so excited for this. I'm interested. Sofia Centurion was saying, so excited. I really wanted to purchase the book. So looking forward for the PDF. Julia Tovar was sending an open mouth emoji and saying, amazing. 
Roslyn was saying the OPL family is the best kind of people. I think so too. Liad was saying don't surrender the copyright straight out. <laughs> you are, you can put far limitations on it and still be clear that people can print it. Nicolas, because you're a decent person, but there are people out there that aren't. I know, I know. So yeah, but this is going well, to but be that's something what we're gonna, that yes. we are going to yes. Uh, offer. Yes, 100%. Page. We are working on it yes. right now. Yes. So we hope uh, that many of the people who wanted the copy, even if we're not going to reprint the copy, maybe they can purchase the book and have it, have it with them. Or maybe, I don't know, because that has happened to me. I mean, I have books that I have them in physic, like in a physical form and the digital form. And I go back to those in different moments. And I do that a lot with images. <laughs> She's so perfect. <laughs> uh, so no, I don't surrender Chili's copyright. Oh no, she's just yours. Yeah, and yours. Yeah, but I I'm, share it with you. I, Look at uh, those sleepy eyes. Look at those paws. <laughs> she has like a tear of sleeping here. Hi, Chili. Chili, I what love do you think? You. So, whenever Chili comes comes up here, she uh, gives us her honest Feedback. review on the uh, drawing. I hope you could see her from I, the uh, side. I uh, don't like the bottom. I adore it. I uh, don't like the bottom. She's gonna lick lazy it. bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna call you lazy bottom artist. <laughs> I'm gonna call you that lazy bottom artist. She's so tiny. It's all up here, all up top, all up here. A lot of work. Yes. Ooh, I like the chest. Ooh, see the bottom. Forgot the bottom. I don't know what I'm going with the uh, the accent there. Um, but she's like a sophisticated Russian Mexican. So, so work on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, Rosalind Sito was saying, ha ha, chili. She's a beauty. Carla was saying, sweet chili. And Catherine was saying, oh my God, chili. She's so beautiful. She looks so tiny in the, like compared no. to the paper. Yeah. Yeah, so the drawing is this size. Chili size, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's how we're going to talk about the uh, yeah. dimensions now. That's how I'm going to oh, measure what's that? everything. Do, do, do you paint on linen? What's the, what are the dimensions, chili size? Yeah. Thank you. Seven, no, I don't know. Seven eighths of a chili, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just to go with the, uh, with the imperial system. Yeah. Insane people. So, um, anyways... Yes. So thank you everyone for thank being you. here. Yes. Um thank you, Chili. Thank you, Chili, always for uh, it was a heartless making you know review our days better. She's she's uh you know, she's tough. Tough she's to please. Tough. Yeah, very tough. She has the right. She's perfect. Uh she's seen she's seen a lot of like great work. Yeah. She is the greatest work yeah. ever. So say goodbye, Chili. I Subscribe. Have... So Take that paw, yeah, the one you had in your hand, and point to the side. So here is our Instagram. So Daniela, OCMP, Nicolas Uribeb. Don't and follow these down idiots. there, it's ourpaintedlives.com. Never everything click that on that. It's a spam. It's going to be available. And the Takes book. You to a Russian website. The book. Don't, don't eat. My father was Russian. Her father is Russian, yeah. so she can actually say these things. My father was Russian. Do not click. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's where you can get in a near future the PDF of the book. Pirate and it. Pirate. Don't buy. And don't all buy it. Not we, worth it. And all the things that we do. So, thank you everyone for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Trust me, I'm saving you.